table, now we coming to get it. The shit one gone, we to Brooklyn strong. Can't stop, won't stop from the Brooklyn block. Hit him with strong flex. I'm official like a rep, trying not to get attacked. Can we go hard on Brooklyn? That's a promise. Watch me like a cam, cause it's my time. Make sure watch me like a cam, cause it's my time. Switch, they can't guard me, especially side the Barclays. It's been between crosses, I can score with both hands. Mini flawless, and I get to paint like an artist. I'm a bar smith, so you should respect my handle. I see the big picture with the nets like a mantle. In the future, I see us as Shamsu, and when we do, I'm a do a Brooklyn dance move to stir that whole Millie rock like a fan do. That's a bet like my parlay on fan do. B R O O K L Y N B R O O K L Y N B R O O K L Y N B R O O K L Y N B R O O K L Y N B R O O K L Y N got a choice every day what that looks like for you. Being steadfast, keeping your nerves, don't lose your shit with this group. Being tougher as a group. Cause it's my time, make sure you watch me like a can. Cause it's my time, switch. They can't guard me, especially side the Barclays. It's been between crosses, I can score with both hands. Mini flawless, and I get to paint like an artist. I'm a bar smith, so you should respect my handle. I see the big picture with the nets like a mantle. In the future, I see us as Shamsu, and when we do, I'ma do a Brooklyn dance move. To stir that whole Millie rock like a fan do. That's a bet like my parlay on fan do. choice every day what that looks like for you being steadfast keeping your nerves don't lose your shit with this group being tougher as a group Yo, it's Big Fan Breezy with the Brooklyn Nets vlog. Shout out to all the Nets fans. We the best fans. We got to be the strong fans. I should say Nets fans is the strong fans for, for going through all of this shit we got to go through because of this team, man. 
when can we get a win? Can't beat the Knicks, can't beat nobody. Oh my god, that shit was such an ugly game. Kevin Ali, I was a fan of you, but I don't know, man. You trying to share the ball between DFS, Cam Johnson, Macau Bridges, and Cam Thomas. Y'all got Cam Thomas going off like he a third option. A third option to Macau Bridges and Cam Johnson. That's nasty work. It's it's whole ass coaching. It's it's, it's it's it just looks bad and and it don't produce no real points. It don't produce. Cam uh, Macau Bridges still celebrating. He act like he want to be a Nick. It's sickening. It is nasty work. It is sickening to see sixteen points in the fourth quarter. Why? What happened in the fourth quarter? Why we can't score the points? Why we can't score points in the fourth quarter? Let's go straight to the fourth quarter. Let's go to my guy, Cam Thomas, the best scorer on the team. Cam Thomas didn't take no shots in the fourth quarter. No shots in the fourth quarter. And we got 16 points. Did Cam Thomas even play in the fourth quarter? This is them trying to prove a point. Their point they're proving is that, oh, we don't need a superstar. Y'all need to be grooming him as a superstar. Y'all look bad. Kevin Ali, all of y'all. Cal Bridges, especially you, you with your fake-ass friendship with Cam Johnson. That shit is fake. You and him talk about how y'all twins, y'all go in the garden and get y'all ass bust. And then y'all don't do no shit about it. Y'all ain't been at the post game interview. Where your where your cojones, your balls at? All you care about is being friends with them in your real life. You don't care about winning basketball games with the Brooklyn Nets. Stop saying you do. Stop lying. You don't care about winning basketball games with the Brooklyn Nets. The Brooklyn Nets fans care more about winning basketball games than you do. Or if not, show us something. That's 7 for 14. That shit lazy work, bro. That shit lazy work. That shit lazy, man. Fucking lazy. Cam Thomas, the best scorer on our team, don't get no shots. Fucking Dennis Smith Jr. got shots in the fourth quarter. Lonnie Walker took one shot in the fourth quarter. But Mikhail Bridges took three shots in the fourth quarter. All misses. Where, where's the... Where, what the fuck is... What the... What is this? Y'all want to act like I'm bashing players? I ain't bashing players. I'm calling them out. Two misses by Cam Johnson. Nasty. Nasty. DFS. Nasty. You got the same number as me, man. I be holding you down off the strength of that, man. But you be making me look bad out here, man. Making me look bad out here. Shit is nasty work, bro. I'm not entertained, man. I'm a Nets fan, whether all of them on the roster or all of them off the roster. Nasty work, man. Don't ask me to root for this shit. Eight minutes without scoring, bro. Shit is nasty. Shit is this shit is bad, bro. I'm tired. I'm tired of uh fussy foot fussy footing around, man. They don't want to play for the Brooklyn Nets. They all look unmotivated. They act like the season is over already. And I blame that shit on Cam Johnson and Mikhail Bridges. They supposed to be leaders of this team. They came in here. They got they just getting their money, and that's it. Y'all not helping us win. Y'all got us looking bad. Y'all, yo, I'm telling you, man, y'all changed the trajectory of what this team could be on a competitive spirit. That's the one thing that I will say about Kevin Ollie. He said, I question their competitive endurance. Y'all basically giving up. He basically said, y'all giving up, man. Y'all look bad out there. Y'all look like y'all giving up. Y'all don't look like y'all want to play. Y'all looking like y'all don't represent the fans as a team. Y'all looking like y'all letting teams just get wins. Y'all not slowing them down. Y'all not trying to fuck up their playoff seating, fuck up their playoff standing. Any team that plays, they get a win because y'all lack motivation. Y'all lack, y'all got the talent. Y'all not going to get me to say Mikael Bridges is not talented, but his competitive spirit is fucking trash. Cam Johnson's competitive spirit is fucking trash. They don't play like they want to win. They play basketball like, it's my job. I'm a millionaire. I'm a GOAT. Do my job. 
and then I'm going to go home. It's not that serious. If it's not that serious to y'all, then why y'all even play for a team like the Brooklyn Nets? Why don't y'all play for the Washington fucking Wizards? Why don't y'all play for a team in purgatory, a team that don't give a fuck about winning? This fan base give a fuck about winning. Y'all shouldn't play here if y'all don't care about winning. Take y'all contracts and play for a different team. Fuck that shit, man. Tired of this shit. Yo, what up, Eskimo? Yo, what's good? What's good? Winning is good. <laughs> yeah, Charlotte. Play for Charlotte Hornets. Don't play for the Brooklyn Nets. Oh man, you going on don't your play, right. Don't, don't play for why don't play with us, man. Don't play for us, man. Don't play with us. We don't want you to play on the team if you're gonna be out there just doing cardio and slapping fives and celebrating. And what the fuck is all of that shit? Shit, nasty work. Oh, Ricky J said Wizards got a ring. Play like y'all want a ring. They don't play like they want no ring, Ricky J. Shout out to you, man. Shout out to you, man. But these dudes don't play like they want no ring, man. These dudes talk to me, Eskimo. I know you probably see some positives. I don't know what the hell you seen positive tonight. I, I always you could always find positives within the game. You know, certain players oh, do certain man. things. You know what I mean? Bridges Bridges played a, a decent game. He he held Brunson down on defense. He did a hell of a job on Brunson. You know what I mean? Brunson was getting his points on somebody else. <laughs> Yo. That shit was crazy. Um, that 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 was like the main part of the game, actually, because there's a lot of things that went wrong in that game, and I hear Ali talking, but he is part of the fucking problem. <laughs> Tell it's me real, why. Tell me, walk, walk me through why you think well, um Ali the problem. Talk to me. All right, so you you see you see the first quarter they did uh, they played all right. 30, Bridges 30, was doing yeah, yeah. playing great on defense. Cam Thomas wasn't getting the ball too much. On offense, I didn't understand that in the first quarter. Then mm -hmm. second quarter, that? I think they always yo, hold on, let me say that. They they always do that. They make it seem like he a second or third option with Cam Johnson and Mikhail Bridges on the floor with him. Like what? Is I don't I, I don't understand what that's what I'm saying. I don't understand what's going on with, with because a lot of that sometimes it's Cam one, sometimes it's not. Or sometimes they'll just do whatever they're doing the way the game is going. So I don't be understanding that. But like you're saying, he is he is the best scorer that we have. And then he didn't take a shot to I think to fucking late in the first or damn near second quarter. But um second quarter, Bridges hit the 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 fucking buzzer beat a half court joint. And they were, I'm like, okay, so they fighting. So they fighting. But when it comes to like the third and the fourth. And you see these dudes energy running running low and you and you stick with the same guys, you you gotta make some type of change. One person, two person, you know what I'm saying? Two different players try to get some energy out of the group. I seen Mikel going down. You can you can see Mikel going down once the fourth quarter went around. That shit was all over Twitter. Mikel looked like he's getting tired. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right, like, you know what I'm saying? Do something. So when you when you say you question these guys nah i question your eyesight watching the game because i could see this everyone else is seeing it but you right at the game you right on the sidelines and you can't see it you know what i mean and there's been a few games where i felt like watford or somebody else could came in just just for some a uh, different type of energy a spark get a layup get a you know what give your guy get your guys hyped up and he don't do that and then the play the when you when when they run in plays and and cam thomas don't touch the ball like you're saying in the fourth quarter like he ain't getting a shot like that's just wild that's just wild and that's on coaching like what what are you doing you know what i'm saying like what are you really doing because i'm running a play for cam i might one run one for mikhail i might run one back for cam like those are your out of the whole team those are your two scores like there's there's absolutely nobody else right now you so, know, you know I would say, you know, I'm with you, bro. So you, yeah, the way the ball is, uh, the shot selection, it's like they go away from Cam Thomas. They make yeah. him the third option when he the best scorer, Ice Man. I can't stand that shit, bro. But even Mikel only taking three shots in the fourth, and I'm like, all right, so Mikel taking everybody else just hooping, and we ain't getting no buckets. And then if, if Mikel missed three, 
and Cam Thomas don't touch the ball, that's the ball game. It, it, the game is over. You know what I mean? That shit is that shit wild. You want me? Yo, my fault. Yeah, I'm right here, bro. Yo, Joey BK, talk to me, man. I, Cause I, I'm just mad right now. So maybe y'all could help me out, man. Cause I'm tired. <laughs> What's good, man? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you, Joey. Chilling, Joey BK. How you doing, man? How, how you doing, bro? I'm good, man. It's only one thing I hate. Hate loot. One thing I hate more than losing, and that's losing to the fucking Knicks. <laughs> but, um, I mean, I don't know, bro. I'm just ready for this season to be over, man. I, I mean, we keep talking about the same shit over and over. We know what this team needs. We know the deficiencies. And right now, we just holding on for dear life, man. Um, it's a lot of holes on this team, man. We know what we need, man. We need a four. We need a, we need a, another one. We don't have enough scoring. Um, we, we can see that when we go on these scoring droughts and shit. Six minutes without scoring a fucking basket. Like, um, I don't know, man. This team just lacks a lot, bro. I mean, we they gave just, up, bro. I think they gave up mentally, bro. Yeah, I do too. I think they 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 yeah they got they 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 broken in, man. They, they they got their shit pushed in too, too much a little bit too much but it is what it is man they i think they just riding the wave waiting for the season to end so, but we'll let the knicks have this though you know they they got it i mean it's whatever they ain't winning shit anyway so it's whatever <laughs> we'll, let them, we'll let them niggas have this. We'll let them. We'll, we'll let them niggas enjoy their city championship. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> facts. It's all factual. Like uh, it, it, it really ain't even. I've, I've been waiting for this season to end, bro. Since, since fucking January, bro. Like y'all, I'm just. I'm right now. I'm just here. Real. Hey, hey Leaf. You know when? I, you know when I was ready for the season to end. When we lost that game, when we lost back to back to Memphis, and um, who was the other shitty team we lost? We lost Portland. To? Yeah, Portland, Portland and Memphis. I was like, yo, it's, it's a wrap. I, I was, I was, I was through with this season, bro. The second, the second that the the uh, twenty twenty four hit, I ain't, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I'm, I'm like, I was, I was calling for, yo, all season shit. Then, I like, I didn't even watch the game today. I know I didn't watch the game. Like, I got up and yeah. like. I was up. I was up all night last last night. I got up at like three something in the morning. Three something Facts. in the afternoon. I was like, "Oh, the next one." I'm like, "Yeah, okay." Facts. The next Facts. one. I'm like, "All right, whatever." You know I, what, Lee? I, I'm just like you because I got up early and I was home, so I could have watched the game. And I told myself, "I'm like, man, I ain't about to watch this shit." And get real, up, bro. I'm it. like, yeah, like uh, <laughs> listen, like a uh, 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 pregame was like fresh was was fresh out of. Uh, 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 like a kid, a child's cartoon morning, bro. I'm like, nah, nah, but, I, nah. but I was keeping up with the score on my phone, and I saw that we was we was. I scared. got back up at like three three thirty, bro. Like we, we was keeping was up playing. with we was keeping up with them niggas into the fourth quarter, and then they just gave up. So, if I'm not mistaken, bro, the only thing I really remember what look by just looking at my phone and getting alerts is that we had a lead at halftime. We had maybe a 57 yeah, lead that at like halftime. Three or some shit like that. Yeah, yeah. We had a lead at halftime, and that was and that was all I could remember. But to be honest with you, bro, listen, I'm looking forward to a lot of shit that we need to get that we probably ain't gonna go after. I'm looking forward to uh Clowney um getting better next year. Wilson uh getting more minutes next year. That's I'm, what we can hope for. I'm, I'm, I'm 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 looking for I'm looking forward to uh Tariq Whitehead um getting healthy next yeah, year, yeah, bro. Yeah, like yeah, um because sure. that's basically our pick. I mean, I, like even if, if we do or if we don't get anybody from this draft, whether uh be a signing, because that's the only way we're gonna get them because we ain't gonna pick nobody. We, just, we, just, we don't we have no gotta, picks. We just gotta look for we gotta look for better days and we gotta hope that Marks and them have a plan going forward, man. And, and, and for better days, man, because right now, I mean we Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now, I I went on a tangent. I went on a tangent on some on, on somebody else's channel yesterday about what we doing, bro. It just so happened to be a Pistons fan, but I mean, it went like uh, I went on a tangent, bro. I'm no, like, no, 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 Leaf. It was it wasn't it wasn't Portland. It was um, that's who we lost to. 
when we lost to Memphis and Detroit, I was like, yeah, this season Memphis over. Memphis and Detroit? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, like, oh you talking about, bro, I was done with this season back in January, bro. I, I ain't going to lie to you. I, like, I'm just here at the moment, bro. Like, I, like my, I'm like, bro, my press. Bro, but hold on, hold on. Let me say this, bro. I don't care if, like, the fans are done, but the fucking play is not supposed to be done. They, they bro, are. They not, they look so unmotivated, bro. Can't yo, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna say this, and y'all know I love Cam Thomas, bro. But when I seen that first play of the game and he got stripped, I say, yo, he mentally tapped out. Okay, I, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give you an analogy. I'm gonna give you an analogy, Breezy. He, he mentally ever, tapped out. Hold on, hold on. Out, I'm gonna give you a quick analogy. So you ever play video games when you was younger, like with an older brother and an older cousin, and he always whipped your ass. And you can never beat them, or your pops would always beat you, or somebody older. And yep. it's, mm-hmm. it's demoralizing, right? It is like, demoralizing. That, that's demoralizing. how them niggas is, it's bro. The like, like, it, is, it is the more it is the more alive. You get to the point, bro, where the, the competing portion of it, once you run out of ideas and you, all your ideas are basically stomped in the mud and they buried, bro, and all your plans is buried, bro, like for the moment. Bro, you need like an off season to regroup this shit, bro. Like for real, bro. You you really need time, time months off, bro. Because a lot of off seasons is gonna be longer than a lot of others. We need we really need time to regroup and figure out what the bro, hell we need players are we that really want to play here, bro. We well, and we that want to play here. Hold on, hold on. I gotta say this because like it, it, I don't know who else wanna say it, bro. I don't know if Macau Bridges want to be a Brooklyn Nets. I don't know if Cam Johnson want to be a Brooklyn Nets. Nick Claxton looked like he fitting to take the bag. Lonnie Walker, he looked like he happy to get the opportunity, but he be he not mentally checked in all the time, if you ask me. Trent been mentally Walker, checked in, he's been playing hurt. But but still, case in point is to me, I'm telling you how it feel to me. And again, you're an NBA player, bro. Do what it bro, takes it's to not stay that healthy. What the hey, fuck? Crazy. It's not like that they making so millions of dollars, yo, Dave, bro. Yo, Dave. Yo, Dave. Bro, look, look, no, we can't, cannot make a plan. You you're game. saying they make? You saying they making millions of dollars hey. with 13 games left? And we get and we five games out of the plan, bro. Like after hey, beating breezy. a it's team not- that's in front of us twice, not once, but twice back to back. Bro, like what the fuck the other team? team, bro. You you missing my point. The other team ain't got nothing to do with how mentally you tapped in or tapped out, bro. No. That shit got nothing to do it, with it. it. It's not. If you it's not, not they playing, don't. bro. They don't play with no effort. No, no, yo. I gotta win this game. I'm playing for pride, morale. None of that. Breezy. None of it's that, not bro. That this is bro. A bro like. Breeze, bro, breeze, breeze, bro. You gotta listen. It, it, it's exactly how any one of us would react, bro. If we was deep down in a shithole like this, bro, it's it, it, it is what it is, bro. Like, listen, it ain't easy just getting up and just knowing that, you, like, yo, we gonna lose anyway, and then still be like, all right, you know, let me let me do this, let me do that, all right, let me, bro. Up, it's not that baby. damn. I'm, it's not that I'm, damn I'm, simple. I'm like a baby. It's, 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 it's a hey, uh, hold up. Wait, wait, it's an 82 game season, bro. It's a select two to three hundred players to do this year in and year out, bro. Like it's bro. Yeah, bro. I understand. Now, I know you saying that, but we ain't on the court, bro. We don't see it on the list that they see it from, bro. We we bro. on the sideline, we watching as fans. Bro, they just see it through what they see it through, bro. They fucking losing. Yeah, that's but... don't play with sense of urgency, and that's what I'm saying. They don't fucking play with no sense of urgency, and I'm gonna tell you what the problem is because this shit gonna happen in the offseason. You're gonna find out that Cam Johnson and Mikhail Bridges got some fake ass friendship, and they decided not to go to Cam Thomas and make him the man because they didn't want to be behind Devin Booker the same way they don't want to be behind Breezy. fucking uh, uh, Cam Thomas. Hey, oh, let me finish my point. Let me finish. 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 You, let you, me finish. You, 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 let me finish. Go, let me finish. Let me please that. finish. Let me please finish. I call it how I see it. They don't care about being real friends with each other. Real friends say, yo, bro, you're playing like trash. You need to play better than what you're doing right now. Mikhail not doing that with Cam Johnson. Cam Johnson not doing that with Mikhail Bridges. Mentally, when they tapped out and mentally, they the OGs of the team, bro. They about 28, 29. Fucking Cam Thomas is 21, 22 years old. This is supposed to be his first opportunity to really get it. 
Mikael Bridges and Cam Johnson cut the line. They can't go nowhere in the NBA and be the number one and two guy. And they don't even fucking deserve to be the one and two guy over Cam Thomas. Crazy. So has, all of this shit is going to come out in the offseason. So I'm saying it now. They it has, were selfish. It has Bree, Bree, they were selfish. I, I, they were selfish. <laughs> Instead of giving the opportunity to who deserved it was Cam Thomas. They took it and threw running that shit in the right. fucking mud. We got a bad record because they egos wouldn't allow Cam let them allow Cam Thomas to be the number one option. So it wasn't, was, it wasn't that's a New York news report shit. New York media. That's the media, bro, talking, bro. Like that's not nah, true, that's bro. Now, 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 it's that's not, real it's not real shit, bro. It's that's basically, bro. They've been, they, everybody on this team has been sold a dream that wasn't true, bro. Real All dream. these kids, they, they was, bro. They were sold a lie by the front office that what they dream? could be. The, the dream was, bro, is that this team could compete and and do this and do that when we realistically couldn't. That's a fucking lie, bro. That's it's not a fucking lie, bro. It, 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 it came true. Look, 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 at, look at the performance. Hold look, on. I told you why it came true. Hold on, Lee. I told you why Breezy. it came true. Breezy, when you there's a lie to everything, nah, bro. Nah, it's I, like, I, I got you. What it is, and that's that's it. You nah. see a duck in the duck quack. It don't quack for no fucking reason. Right, so the duck got a reason on why it quacks. Do this, Breezy. Go back. Go all the way. When you go to games. I'll make this real easy. Go back to after after the uh, All Star game, and all those games. Check out check the the stats on those games. When you go down the the roster, you're gonna see Bridges. You're gonna see Cam Thomas. You're gonna see maybe Lonnie. Then you won't see Lonnie. And when and when you get all the way up to this game, you're gonna see that there's no help. <laughs> this the, the reason why they're playing. They have no help. You can look at this right. game by itself. You can see there is no – if Bridges score, Cam Thomas don't score as much. If Cam Thomas score a lot, Bridges don't. And after you get past those two people, there's nothing else on this roster. Right. There's no help. I, I want to say – I want to respond to Bridges. I, I, I don't believe it has anything to do with them not wanting to be here. I think they just put in a position to where they're failing and – you know, they we thought that they were going to take that next step, and they they're were, not accustomed to the positions that they're in. Yeah, they're not. That's they're not. Yeah, they're not accustomed to the to the positions that they're they're being put into because they're fucking role players. So, Speak up. I mean, you, you ain't got a mouth. You ain't got a voice. Speak I don't, up. Say, no, I'm not comfortable. I don't. I don't this. think Mikel is hating on um Cam Thomas because I seen him defeat. Took his Cam opportunity Thomas. to be the number one guy. Y'all could deny uh, that. Listen, listen, but but I don't think that's Freeze, freeze. I think we all admitted, bro, and we said this repeatedly up in this uh, in in, uh, in this discourse that this is basically uh, uh what you call this rookie year. So I had all say, so let's say let's just say if Cam Johnson and Mikel said, hey, yo, bro. We, you know, listen, we need the ball in his hands, bro. Like we need, and what? And they would have responded back, like, "Yo, he ain't ready. Yo, we got to just get him ready, hey, bro. But he all we got, we got to just go through him." And, and they would have been like, "All right, yo." Every huddle, they would have been like, "Hey, hey, yo, CT, bro. Yo, the game is in your hands. Yo, we, yo, we going how you going, bro? Like, yo, listen, I'm being corner, bro. Did that, blah, 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 blah. Leaf, they did not do that." <laughs> Say if they did do that, bro, what what would be the results, bro? Like I understand it's something. Nah, no, no, because no. no. Bridges no. already said Bridges already said Cam Thomas helps him when he's on the floor, so he's on the floor, bro. And yes. and uh, and and Cam Johnson been hurt damn near the whole season. But the whole exactly. like, kind of parade to make it seem like they're <laughs> fucking duo. They not no duo. You look at the statistics, the stats are even a lie. They got Cam Thomas averaging 21 and Mikhail Bridges averaging 21. Fuck out of here. For one, it's, it's Cam, true. Cam, Cam, listen, Cam Thomas, realistically, giving it him the green light, he averages 27 and 30 points a game. Easy. Not, not, on not on this roster. Not on this. Not with this team playing like this. Especially on this roster. Especially. No, if we put in, if we put in, if we put in a team in the hands of somebody, bro, like that's basically in I, a I, I just season, don't, bro. Crazy. We, we just, like, how do we know we better, or how do we know we better off than uh, uh, any other uh, uh, quote unquote rookie that's the head of the team, bro? 
and 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 we and we got the players that we got around him, bro. This the the, re, the reality is is that this team wasn't built around Cam Thomas. It was built around somebody else. That's the reality, bro. Like so, if we had we would have put the ball in Cam Thomas' hands for the entire eighty-two game season of entire year, bro, the result would not have been different. It wouldn't. I disagree. I'm going to ask you a question, Breezy, because I. I mean, I just don't see the injustice that Cam Thomas is getting. He's getting his shots, and he's getting – he's he's a, he's a big part of the offense. So I don't see where you acting like it's injustice. Now, I will say sometimes he needs to be in the fourth quarter. When he's not, he needs to be in there. But besides him getting his opportunities on the floor, he's getting them, bro. Like, exactly. Bro. I, 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 I want to say this. I want to say this, right, because I think – I understand where Breezy is coming from. If you look, he's getting it now. Why? Because he he's he has, he's had to work for it. He had to put yeah, in the yeah, work, I mean, bro. He I wasn't. Mean, listen, hold on, hold on. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Right. He had to work for it in the beginning of the season. He wasn't even a thought. He wasn't in the starting lineup. It was Mikel. It was Cam Johnson. It was Spencer Dinwiddie, and then it was Claxton. He wasn't. He wasn't even part of their plans. They was gonna That's make him a six dope, man bro. or whatever the case the case may be. The very, next, sure game, that the he very was, next game. The very next game, he was in the star. No, line. when he started That's turning hard. up in the Cleveland game, when he turned up in the Dallas. When he turned up in the Dallas game, when he started turning up in all these games, that's when they was like, okay, we might have to start making him part of the offense. Hey, it wasn't like that early in the season. His minutes bro, was getting depleted up and down. He was playing time. 17 minutes. This then this playing is 20 right. minutes next I, game. I, 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 this ain't no other play. This ain't no other play. The whole bro. time it was a it was a question whether he gonna go back to the bench when this person get healthy or when that person get healthy. If Cam Thomas right. goes back to the bench, it wasn't never. Like, right. It wasn't like he was starting from the beginning of the but, but, season but, but, and he he was giving a ball. Like it wasn't. Hold on. We already passed that. Why y'all keep talking about that? No, we all passed that, but yeah, we, we, we all passed that. But we gotta, no, 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 I just want to say this. Hold on, let me let me answer Joey's question. I just want to say this, and I'm, I'm gonna let Joey, you have the floor. Joey, We've already Joey, passed Joey, that. Joey, I'm Go ahead. Right. It's more. It's more to it, bro. I'm gonna say we already passed that point, all right? I I know. It's way. It's way more to it. We already passed that point, but we got we got to recap it. We already me, passed that bro, point. Let me say Andrew this. Let me say this. His opportunities. I agree with Iceman. We're just not. We just don't have enough offense. If Cam goes off, he has nobody to help him. If if Mikael plays well, then uh, Cam might not play that well. The point this, is, this, this is, is what that, happens when we were two about team. three or four niggas in cool. double digits in order for us to win basketball games. Facts. And that's that's rarely happens. Facts. That's 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 all facts, right? And, and hold this on, is what happens. This is what happens yeah, when you have nothing to do with Cam Thomas not being a part this of the offense. Wait, wait, wait. Before, yeah, before, do, before, 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 before anybody go, bro, I just want to make it plain and simple. We talked about the players all year. I I got you. Hold on, hold on. Let me say this. No, I was you cut me off. Like I was going before Joey asked me to go. No, no, no. Let me let me get this short. What I'm trying to say is I'm disagreeing with Leaf. He said that oh, if Cam Thomas had the green light and he had the um something about if he had the green light in the beginning, it would have been the same results. I disagree. Again, the reason why I disagree. I already is told you why. But I, finish, I'm, I'm still disagreeing. So what I'm trying to tell you is what I disagree is they trying to make it seem like it was a duo. It's not no fucking duo. It's Cam Thomas runs the offense and run the offense through him and fucking run that shit 75% of the game. Case in point is the pick and roll, they wasn't doing that. I'm not just talking about giving Cam Thomas the ball and letting him run isos. That's not what I'm doing. I'm saying give him the pick and roll with Nick Claxton. They go away from Claxton too. And they be forcing shit to him. Like they don't, 
in the sense where they'll go to him if he gets scored on, but they're not making him instrumental where we start the game going to him. We look for jumpers before we look for inside presence, and that's the problem. Stop looking for jumpers before we look for going to the paint and going to the basket. We don't take advantage of the players that we got that put pressure on the rim on a regular basis. Trenda Wafford should be the any. point for as soon as we see him do what he did when Ben Simmons was out. He should have been instrumental in the rotation immediately. So, yeah, that's on Kevin Ollie or fucking Sean Marks if he the one saying don't play him. Bro, in my opinion, Trenda Wofford needs to share minutes with Cam Johnson. And we don't have no four in this whole game of us playing smooth. Bro, that shit don't work. And not to go on a tangent, to stick with why I, I asked to, to speak on this, is Cam Thomas never was the number one guy. They never did that. And if he was, we would have had something consistent. And he worked on his playmaking. He had like six assists today. Y'all talk all that shit about how he got to improve. And he improved. He became a better passer, a more or willing passer to the point where you can see he unmotivated to score the ball. They trying to take him out the road to score to fit in the offense. And this Kevin Ali hasn't done anything in the NBA to make it his his system run this way. No, he needs to adjust the same way Kenny Atkinson did. I'm sorry, I seen good culture with Kenny Atkinson that year. We was like 42 and 40, and I hold all of these coaches after him at a high standard. And when they don't meet Kenny Atkinson's standard, I call them on it. Kevin Ali. Didn't meet it. Jock Vaughn didn't meet it. Steve Nash didn't meet it. Steve Nash and Dan Tony didn't meet it because they still went away from that inside presence. And the only time we would get busy is cousin KD for the most part. Remember, after 30 games, we was 21 and 9. That's because he could have an entry pass from the post and he could create more space and uncontested shots. I just want to say something. I want to say something. I want to say something. I'm going to say something. I'm going to say This is the last thing I'm going to say. When after you when you take away the threat of having a low post score threat, it makes us one dimensional. They know it's a uh, jump shot, and, and the refs is not giving us fouls. We don't go to the basket enough for the refs to give us the call when we go to the basket. Okay, come on, leave. I'm gonna be very quick. Uh, I, I'm gonna say this real quick. So you said all that, and I agree with you. But the thing is, I've seen Cam uh, Thomas go the fuck off. I've seen Cam Thomas score 30 points, get five assists, six rebounds, and we still fucking lose. You know why? Because like Iceman said, we just don't fucking have enough. So I agree with Leaf. I agree with Iceman, Breezy. Even if we give Cam Thomas a tease and he go off and we run the offense to him, it still ain't going to be enough because these exactly. other niggas fucking stink. Exactly. Okay. So, 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 yeah. so, 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 exactly. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Exactly. 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 I want to tell you. I want to tell you. I want to tell you. Two more seconds, Lee. I promise I'm going to let you get it. Another I thing. I want to tell you. Go ahead. Uh, with the low post game, you saying that we, we got to have a low post game? Breezy, we don't have no strong low post players. Okay. Exactly. I can tell you this, but we don't. You see, you exactly. guys to get fucking babied in the paint. By G Leaguers, my nigga. Exactly. Multiple times. He's not yes. a strong in the post point. I mean, post paint offensive player. Facts. He's a and fucking why, run, he's a and, running duck and, man. And, 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 he's and a why running we, duck and, man. Yes. A, a fucking screen. Um, and a lob threat. A and a lob threat. Yeah, yeah, my, I, 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 I wanted to get my take on the conversation. Go ahead. Hold on. Let me go. Let me go. I keep saying I know I'm going to sound like a broken recorder. Leave us go. Then you could go after him. No, no, no. What I. What I what I was gonna what I was gonna say, bro, Breezy. I'm glad you mentioned the uh the what you call it team, bro. You gotta remember who we had on that team. By the way, we had Karis Levert and D'Lo, bro. Like none of the players on this roster are equivalent to them offensively, outside of Cam Thomas, bro. That that's number one. Number two, if you look at the rest of the role players that we had, can't uh, uh, uh just let it be known, bro. Like in terms of manning the paint by themselves, bro. We lying to ourselves if we saying uh Claxton. Was a better was better at manning the paint all by us lonely than Jared Allen was during that time. That's number two. Yeah, number three. Say, yeah, you gonna yeah, see me say uh, that? Uh, of course, uh, yeah, of course. Ain't nobody gonna say that. And number three, bro, the coaching development. You gotta remember, uh, the 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 uh the, the string along of them players, bro. They always around the same age range too, bro. We got players, bro, like late twenties, mid twenties, and, and and then we got at, at mid twenties, and then you got uh, Dayron and Cam Thomas. 
and what you call is about to be 25, bro. Like we didn't have that on that on that uh, uh Kenny Atkinson team. We had a young pieces, and they all listened, bro, because they was all trying to be some. They was all trying to be somebody. It, they they didn't have names for themselves yet. The players that's on this team, they made names for themselves being role players on other teams behind superstars. D'Lo didn't have that. D'Lo and D'Lo, Karis LeVert, Jared Allen. That at that time. They didn't know nothing about being the standing up behind Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. Before Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving showed up here, them niggas was by they lonely. And they had to figure it out by they, by they damn selves with Kenny Atkinson at the helm. So the, so the difference was the trajectory of the team and of the trajectory of the age of those players as opposed to today. Bro, this is one of the reasons why, me, why, Jay, why one of the few things I agree with Jay on, bro, was that trade. From Mikel Bridges, that was the best package. Why? Because it would have gave us a direction, bro. And this is one of the reasons why I kept mentioning Ty Jones early in the season. Why? Because he fits the age trajectory of who? Cam Thomas. We didn't build around Cam Thomas. That's why if we put the ball in Cam Thomas' hands all year long, the shit wouldn't have worked. You've seen that tonight, and you've seen that in other games when he was leading the game, he leading the team and scoring, and he was going off for 40 points or 30 points, and we were still losing. You saw it the whole year. What makes you think it would have worked this entire year, bro? They was not implementing no system. Them role players play a certain way. They play accustomed to how the, uh, Devin Booker and, and Luca and Kevin Durant and Kyrie play, bro. They don't know how to play with Cam right, Thomas. They know how to play with them niggas, bro. On, you went on, 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 I'm going to finish this Because you went with all this energy. Because you went with all this energy and all this anger. And I lost it, bro. But the thing is, you fell off. You fell off. Because the thing, the well, thing is, we was talking about something that we, that we didn't have all along the entire year. This team was not built around Cam Thomas. That's why this shit don't work. Listen, you're not listening to what I'm saying. Listen, this is what I'm saying, bro. And again, emphasis on this part of the show uh, called teammates. This is what real teammates do, bro. Real teammates say, "All right, bro, look." I know this is supposed to be my team. This is supposed to be my chance. And, you know, at the end of the day, I got to do something different. And I could see you natural at what they want me to do. So, you know what? I'm going to work with you. Now, I'm saying that fan to fan, I ain't see that in Mikhail Bridges to Cam Thomas. I don't see the big brotherhood like, yo, I'm the big bro. You know what I'm saying? I've been in the league for, I, 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 you know, as far as role change. I don't see the camaraderie. And again, I'm not talking about talent. That's a whole different part of the show. I'm talking about teammates and just what it is to be a good teammate, to want to win with this guy. Like you, you want to, you don't want to let him down. That's your fucking guy. Pause. That, that's your, that's your teammate. That's your homie. You know what I'm saying? Y'all get through the thick and thin with each other. You want to be able to look back like, yo, remember that time we was losing that game and then we, you know what I'm saying? I th we played defense and then we came back and now I'm saying we did that shit together. Yeah, let's do that shit again tonight. That's real teammate shit. Like, are they really teammates? Or is Macau, we're like, what the fuck are they doing in the huddle? Like they too cool for school. Nobody, everybody too cool to talk to. Everybody just take assignments without like no communication. Yo. Like, yo, hold on, you want yo. me to do this? Let him do that. He just hit two shots. But in the yo, breezy, I I want to rebuttal that because just like, just, like 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 just talking like, about teammates right now. Just all all teammates. Like, why are they not good teammates to each other? I don't. So, like no, that. my thing is breezy. I, I think you gotta understand the morale is low. Uh, I mean, losing a lot. So it wasn't. We wasn't supposed to build around Cam Thomas. We all know that. It was supposed to be Ben Simmons. We know Cam Johnson, all the good stuff, right? Cam Thomas got luck. Now, bro, when you lose so much, when you said good teammates, bro, it's already started off from the beginning, man. You got to understand, these teams are now building this drive. We have, we almost halfway more quarter, way almost more halfway done to the season, bro. It's too late to build yeah, now. Wait, bro. Like, it's less, it's it's less than 15 games left. Yeah, like it's he's already started. Left, I don't like, care. Look, listen, listen. I don't care how hard you play. I don't care. I can be like, yo, breezy. Let's Which play I hard, bro. You're not gonna beat a team that's already constructed, bro. have an identity, oh, I, oh, and know what to listen, do. Breezy. You're not. Accustomed to riding away, bro. They did that in Phoenix and Dallas, and they even did that here, bro. When they had KD and Kyrie, they're accustomed. To being in one spot and being and being around them, bro. They're accustomed to letting other niggas run the ship. Right. 
the thing is, but the thing is, bro, having Cam Thomas run the shit basically in what we all call this rookie year, bro, you seeing the results when he scored 40, 30 or 40 something what, points. What he didn't gonna say, man, I don't want you to make Jay forget what he was going to say, man, because that happened. My bad, Jay. My bad, Jay. My bad. What would you go say, Jay? Jay? I just feel like they missing the point with I feel like you saying that from what happened last year into this year, we should have been building a brown Cam Thomas. We should have been letting him be the first option because right. it was proven that especially on scoring, because it's been proven that he's the best scorer on the team, even wow. from him getting the, in the transition period when he was scoring 40 points a game last year. He started okay. off the season doing the same thing. It's like he's obviously the best scorer. And if they would have built the team where he can be like the number one option and the rest of the guys go into those roles that you're saying that they was playing on their other teams instead of trying to push them into new roles and propel them into stars yeah. when cam thomas has been a star in the nice. number one score pretty much his whole career when he was coming up he just was nice. under kd in them yeah, and hold on, on that note season, that was never mccall bridges last, handle, last, jay last, last jay that was that was never mccall bridges handle jay like coming up in high school and college he He's known for being consistent, for, for reliability, for being able to be there for every game. That's what his handle is. And okay. again, play to that strength. Wait, but strength face. Hold on. Hold on. I... Let me say this. Let me say this. Hold on. If I'm on a team, I'm going to keep it real with you because I'm feeling some type of white. If I'm if I'm on a team and I'm in a park, I'm like, yo, that's my big man. He don't really score much, but he, he know how to play defense and he grab doors. But that's all we need him to do. That's my guy. Boom. I know what he do. I ain't asking him to do no other shit that he don't already do. Case in point is, that's not what this is. Cam Johnson, he just played a four like it's sweet. Like, what you mean? You're supposed to play a three. But the truth is, this is what the truth is. And this is what I don't like about Cam Johnson and McCall Bridges as teammates. Mikhail Bridges know that Cam Johnson was supposed to come off the bench because he's not a power forward. It, and, and even with that contract, it, bro, realistically, you're not supposed to play four. And far as uh, what Sean Mark's saying, what he need, I mean, I'm sorry, Joe. I mean, um, Jock Vaughn, because Jock Vaughn, remember, he just won. He's the one that handpicked. Remember, in the offseason, it was all these other players. We was like, oh, who gonna make the team? This and that. And we ain't picked no power forwards. I remember a guy I forgot his name. I don't think he in the NBA, but he was good at a blocking uh, perimeter uh, uh, three point shots and shit. And we didn't pick him. I thought he was like a power forward, case in point. And he, we didn't pick no power forwards, and we made Cam Johnson a power forward. That shit was a that was that wasn't good for Cam Johnson's career. Realistically, without me trying to trash him and say this and that and the third about oh how I don't like his game, him trying to be a power forward in the Eastern Conference, nah. Yo, yeah, but Bree, but Bree, 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 I don't think you say is say correct, like, bro. The whole man, thing is that we all been out of position for the very beginning. I don't care how confident you are. DFS, I don't DFS care is what. A small forward too, right? You said what happened? DFS, he's a small forward. He's too. a small forward too, and he played horrible tonight. But I don't care right, what. Hold on, what? Hold on, hold on. So we Bree, got, Bree, got Jalen, Macau Bridges is a small forward. Leaf, don't don't start that here two guard shit. You and chill. Hey, you know who we need I, to start you, calling out more? D, um, D, Dorian Finney-Smith. That nigga can't hit the side of a barn. Wait, but Breezy, Breezy, to y'all, to y'all point, what you and Jay are saying, y'all correct, right? Because I, I do agree that Cam should have gotten the green light at the start of the season. But the only issue with that is, and if y'all been watching the games for the past, for most of these games, yeah, we can make Cam Thomas the number one scoring option. Everybody lock in, but to they to uh their point they don't we don't got the personnel to to back up cam thomas when he a number one option like mikhail is not we all know that mikhail is not that guy so even if he locked in on his role like i'll say the game against the warriors when we scored when when cam thomas case in point when cam thomas scored 41 against the warriors and they was at home I mean, and they were, we was in the, uh, we was at the, they spot. Yeah, Cam own. Thomas had 40, he had 41. But the fact of the matter is, and we, the game was close. What happened? If you, if y'all recognize doing that game, Cam Thomas for some reason was in the corner. So he, he wasn't getting the ball that much. And then all of a sudden, Mikel started jacking up shots. And then we got on here saying, and like, yo, why Mikel, how Mikel missed that wide open layup? That layup was wide open. Why did he go to Cam Thomas in the, at the end of the game? This is why. 
we get leads and then we blow it because the personnel that we got is not sustainable to Cam to Cam Thomas respectfully. Uh, yeah, I feel like. That's what I've been. That's what I've been saying. And the add on and the add on and the add on to that, bro. Like the thing is, go look at the games where Cam Thomas is getting the ball in the fourth quarter and he's getting double teamed. And they don't, they don't, and he got to throw the ball to somebody else, and they can't create no offense. Exactly. It, 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 so, so, yeah, so it's totally right. Right. you're right about it's that. Basically, right. It's basically the because same shit, bro. So, so the thing is, whether the, he got twenty something points, thirty something points, or forty something points, or whether he in the shootout with Steph or Luca or, or or Donovan Mitchell, bro, like we all know the results. We all seen the results. Can, can yeah, I, but can that's I, the equivalent okay. of giving him the grenades, just giving it to him in the fourth quarter and say, please come save me. That's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to set your players up right instead of putting them in a the position to fail. And but, that's what they've been doing with Cam, just putting him in a position like, yo, you got to do it or else instead of let's help you do it. And another thing, I'm going to say this. And Lord, another Lord. thing, if we, if we put Cam as a number one, right, you guys got to understand that's going to come with a lot of growing pain because you know what? Teams are going to be throwing everything at the kitchen sink as Cam because they're going to be trying to get the ball out of his hands. Then McCall should be wide open. He's going to need – but Cam ha, is going to need to make the right play mostly all of the time because the ball, the offense is going to be ran through him. McCall don't still, do it. I hold, hold on, but I want to hold on. I want to hold on. I want to rebuttal. I want to rebuttal that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to rebuttal that. Real quick. Real quick. My All I'm Joey saying Joe, is, my four Joey, well, though, not, but you, you can't say that we ain't been seeing the same growing pains with no, the I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, I'm with you. I'm just saying, I agree. Cam mm -hmm. is more fit for it, but we we would have to. He would have to grow into that role. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, and I, I think y'all right, thing but is, I think that Cam Thomas got to do. I think the way I, I, I think I, the I, way he got to do with Cam Thomas it put size. Hold oh. on, hold on. But so again, I, we remember. I want y'all to remember. We y'all we talking about talent and teammates. But what do y'all think about these players as teammates? Now, is do you think Cam Thomas is a good teammate? I think yeah. I think he a good Bro, teammate. I I'm gonna explain, I think that, 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 I can explain that shit to you so easy. In an isolated interview, he says Bridges and Cam Thomas locker is right next to each other. So that can't be the shit you're talking about. They they talk every day. They see each other yeah, every fact. day. They they together. They, bro, they together. Like I tell you, if you look at the goddamn games, you see Mikel Bridges score either 17, Cam Thomas score 21. You go down, you might catch a Dennis Schroeder at 13. You might catch Dennis Schroeder at 9. You might catch Cam Johnson at 13. You might catch Claxton at 5. Bro, the team is not to you, – you can't win like that. So I don't care, like they say, you put Cam Thomas number one, you put Bridges number one. Yeah, e e either way you either way you look at it, you get the same result. Exactly. Exactly. Right. You ever nah. notice that all but Cam, Cam Thomas be trying to find Mikel on the court though? Yo, so, no, 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 but, 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 hold on, Breezy was saying if they are a good teammate. My thing is, I think they absolutely are a good teammate. Yes, this like Mikel Bridges kept complaining. About how the whole system is messed up. I don't care how good of a teammate you are. If people are out of place, they're out of place. Exactly. That's it. Like, you know what I mean? Like that's a fact. But you ever notice that all the games the Nets win, it's at least three to four nets in double figures. Yes. Yeah. And and to Joey's point, they hit they had a they had a stat up. If if they hit 17 threes, like their record is crazy. But they don't never read 17 threes because they're not pushing the pace. Pushing the pace, they playing half court. That's why I said Dennis Schroeder is not the point guard for them. He plays too slow. He right. acts like he's playing with LeBron or somebody. He's not playing with them. He got to run. Right. He's not a he's not an up tempo point guard like Ben. Right. Yeah, but he got a lot of he got a lot of finesse though. But shooter's not up tempo now. Nah. And it's gonna push the pace and get the ball up court before the defense gets set. That's right. what he does. Yeah, right. but you know and that's, that's like even though Ben is well, yeah, one of the best at doing it, do. you can't do that for forty eight minutes. My my thing is, yo, I keep saying it like over and over again. My thing is, we need to get size and we need to get a stretch big, bro. That's it. We need to get. We need to get. We need to get. Listen, I'm contingent on this. We need to get. Thomas and Dayron Sharp is good teammates, man. We need. We need to get. We need to get. We need to get you. And this is. And this is why I say we need to get. We need to go all in on you, not just because of Cam Thomas. Because of what happened in that Milwaukee. Can I say game. this? 
What what happened in hold up before you say well what happened in that Milwaukee game? You know what you saw that you did not see consistently the whole year, bro. You saw from them young players, bro, that came from them came from that G League team. You saw energy. You saw effort, bro. You saw nonstop get a uh, uh, flying flying to the hustle place, flying to the rebound, flying up. You saw Wofford flying up the court. The hell with uh, the hell with the goddamn setup. You saw Wilson flying up and down the oh, court, flying the rebound. Jay, you saw you saw all yeah, uh, but, 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 long ass soliloquy. Pass the ball to Jay, man. Damn. <laughs> yo, yo. Niggas, yo so, y'all niggas get y'all time to shine, and y'all be wanting to go off. But I just wanted to say, if, <laughs> I just wanted to say quickly, if Clax quickly. and Cam Thomas got a problem. <laughs> Clax got to get his get his mind right real quick because he can't be on this team if he he got a problem with Cam long term. Like if that's what it is, because I saw I heard they've been arguing all season. And somebody in chat said that uh, Clax don't like Cam. If I I don't know, I don't think I could have that type of tension in the locker room if that's true. I think I think Clax think he a chucker. He don't pass the ball enough because I seen him tell him to pass. No, the ball I think Clax want that pick and roll. That shit could hey, work. Hey, Lee, I've been seeing haven't you know, they been doing that all season? Well, not all season, but haven't they been doing that? Hold on, let me ask you that real quick. Yo, I don't think that's bad that Nick Clax is talking and communicating with Cam Thomas. Like, you don't have to take bad shots, run the pick and roll with me. Like, don't put yourself. You a breezy? He's been yeah, doing that. But breezy, like, hold on. Hold on. I'm, I, I want to say something. Yo, breezy. Nick Claxton is doing. Nick Claxton is telling him like, yo. Maybe I'm wrong, right? But yeah, maybe, yeah, I think you're probably on, right. Maybe, but my thing is, breezy. Play, like, instead of taking bad shots, run a pick and roll with me, you'll get a better so, shot. Yo, breezy, my, my thing is with this team, y'all. I know, I know I'm the only one that probably feel this way. My thing with this team is always when we have Ben Simmons, he doesn't, yo, he, he got to stay down in the post, right? We all, he got to stay down in the um, dunker spot, right? Finish yeah. uh Claxton, he gotta stay down in the dunker spot. Sharp, we gotta stay down there. Bro, this is so predictable strategy, son. That's where we lose. The that only time right. we look different when Clowney was playing, son. Yeah, like I, it's I, different. I, that's what I wanted to get to. I can't knock Clowney, man. Clowney he, he stretched the floor, but y'all still five points and four boards, right? But he do space the floor. Man. And I'm 14, yeah. like yo, and that left even actually score. Like, bro, we the actually took oh, the lead yeah, against the ball. Wait, 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 he did, he did that shit again. He's talking about, yo, five points and, and four boards. Bro. Like, he had that in 14 minutes. Stop. Don't do that yeah. to that young boy. No, oh, listen, yo, listen, hold on. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me explain myself. Yo, let me, I let, let me explain myself. myself. Hold on. Like yeah. I said, the reason, why, the reason why I said five points and four boards is because Kevin Ali sat Dayron Sharp. And he had bro. 17 rebounds, a career high the game for the That's what I was just about to well, ask. Hold on, hold on. I mean, I hold on, Leaf. I don't want the narrative to be that I don't like Clowney. I like Clowney. But at the end of the day, to take day long, sharp minutes, hey, like, slow it down. You you being a you you being 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 you how is Kevin Ali a good coach after this nigga Dayron gets 17 rebounds, then gets no minutes the next game, and then right. the young guys play really well against the Bucks last night and barely get no minutes tonight until garbage mm. time? Like mm. he, being, he being told to do that. Why? That's, that's the whole thing. Look, look, if you look, bro, listen, Jay. Bro, if Kevin, you saw the interview of Kevin Ali, he got an interview. He got an interview. I the can't. Rangers. I don't know, man. Yo, now, so I don't he know. played I against the Bucks, I'm right? Not, not Kevin, on, Kevin Ali said, "Bro, Kevin, nah, because I believe he told us say that man. Kevin Ali right said now. he." What at the time? What at the time, y'all? Look, I got. I just want to say this real quick, Ivan. I, I can't. He's five and eleven right now. I'm not doing. I'm not saying he'll go cold, bro. Yeah, I'm not saying that either. Not yeah. In the NBA, in the college, maybe. Yeah. Yo, I just yeah. Want to so my thing man. with Kevin Ali, though, Kevin Ali said he wants Clowney to shoot. He no, was man. even mad that Clowney wasn't shooting more. That we said in the interview, like he Clowney got the green light, bro. He's killing it that much. So we saw Sharp here. We saw Sharp, and I'm not saying Sharp isn't good. Like I'm a fan of Sharp. I like. I just think that yo, when when Claxton leaves, Sharp is coming back to do the same thing. The defense have no reads. They just go back to their defensive sets. Just defend the paint. Don't stretch nothing. Like 
it's so easy to read, bro. That's all I'm saying. Like, so my example, when Clowney comes in, right, and the stretch big don't work out, guess what? You can bring Claxton into the dunker spot. If that don't work out, guess what? You can bring Clowney and Claxton together. If that don't work out, then you can stretch it out again. Different looks. When we have Ben Simmons, when we have Claxton, when we have Sharp, it's the same thing. Go to the dunker spot. Go. To, y'all know how easy that is to play defense? Bro, I love playing defense on people that gets in the dunk. I'm like, all right, I'm just going to stand right here, absorb all my energy. I don't got to run. Bro, if that's all you're going to do all day, bro, yeah, I, I already know what my assignment is. Bro, the, 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 thank you. Now, if it's hey. a nigga that, if it's a nigga that can shoot and, and go other places on the court, of course it's more difficult because now you got to play him out. I said this the last episode, bro, like uh, uh, when we was talking about uh, playing clowny, bro. Why you think Jokic, bro, get offensive rebounds so goddamn easy? Because the niggas is out on the perimeter guarding them, and then they go, they, then they fall asleep. They look at some other shit. Here come this nigga, bro. He can't jump over a fucking textbook. He, he getting offensive rebounds. Bro, if you saw, for example, if y'all saw that fourth quarter, right? I'm going to just, just use the last example with the Bucks game. Can Thomas score eight points in a row? This man have the freedom. They wouldn't even dare double-team Can Thomas no more because Clowney right there in the corner. That's what I'm saying, man. Like, bro. Hey, hey Lee, that boy, that boy oh, Edie looking crazy in the tournament. I said that. Oh, it, uh, listen, listen. Listen to me. Uh, look, oh, uh, oh, oh, I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to speak on it too much about Edie, bro. Like, go ahead, bro. No, 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 listen. I, I'm not knocking that. I just want to show y'all something real quick. Shout to shout, shout to Zach Edie. We could get into that. It's all goody. Um, we are hour in. Please hit that like button. Um, you know what I'm saying. Y'all can hit the cash app too. That's cool. But case in point is, Brooke Lopez played with Kenny Atkinson. So again, his first year as a coach, even though we were 20 and 62. He got to see what a big man can do. And remember, that's around the time that Brick Lopez started stretching the floor, too. Um, incredible player. Uh, still the leading scorer of the Nets. But, again, Kenny Atkinson played with a big man. I said all I had to say that. Now, again, Jared Allen. See, Jared Allen, one of the better players in the league. You see, that's why I highlighted it, right? But case in point is Jared Allen is there twice. Kenny Atkinson made sure that he had a big man on his roster. And that's why I think we miss Kenny Atkinson. He made he he made uh Jared Allen instrumental and gave him the opportunities that he deserved. When you look at the statistics of Jared Allen from when he was a rookie with Kenny Atkinson and so on, you can see the growth in his game season to season. That's why fans fell in love with him, called him the front, gave him a nickname, all of that. You feel what I'm saying? But we seen him get better season after season. And we need a coach that's going to make a big man imperative, whether it be Zach Eady or, or whoever. You know what I'm saying? But shout to Kenny Atkinson. He got that ring with the where he is. He said, I'm good on the head coach. I'm not coaching the Charlotte Hornets. I'm going I'm, I'm 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 to explain to you why he made the big man imperative, bro. It was easy to do that when you had Den Witty, uh, D'Lo, and Karis LeVert. Three play, those are three players. That you know, the the last year. He made Jared Allen imperative before that. Bro, he made Jared, Jared Allen imperative during that, bro, because the thing is, when you got three players on your team that could create their own shot and D'Lo, Karis, Karis LeVert, and uh, Dinwiddie, something we do not have right now, then it's, then it's pretty easy to do that because now it's almost the same thing as, as, ha- it's almost the same thing as having one uh, Kyrie Irving or one Kevin Durant. Now the bit, now uh, they're going to overplay the mid-range and they're going to overplay the nigga that could create on the perimeter, bro, and now that leaves the big man wide open. That kind of, that's kind of why Cleveland got the record that they have, and we do not. So, so Jared Allen is valid over there too. By the way, bro, like, so uh, I'm not. That's just. That, I just wanted to declare that. Yo, you know, I just hold on. I just wanted to say this and again. Shout to Kenny Axon, forty-two and forty record. You know, I just wanted to look at what a good coach could do for a team. You know, I just wanted to just lead this. Yeah, and the prime example too, like what a big co- a coach could do. Like y'all remember when like Spencer. And um, Mikel Bridges and Cam Johnson first came on here, bro. They were using their team plays. Mm-hmm. And uh, Spencer was actually one of the most leading assists last year, you know, mm-hmm. stuff like that. And you see, yo, so it just shows you that coaching is important. And these people don't know what the hell they're doing, man. We oh, just no, stuck with it. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Wait, hold on. You know what I wanted to say? You know what I wanted to say? I'm not. Y'all get overzealous. 
before y'all get it over his Alice. What's up? What's up? Uh, Kenny Atkinson first year coaching, and he was twenty and sixty two. No, no, no. But again, it's not overzealous. So I'm it sure takes time. Back. Hold up. I'm just saying it takes time. So maybe if Kevin yeah, right. Riley got the three years with the team, he would maybe. That's be true, Jay. We always rushing. That's good. Y'all be, be just jumping off the cliff with everything. Yeah, that's, that's true. true. That's true. Damn. Good point. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm not. That's I, real, I, I bro. Shut up. That. Dude, that's maybe real. You're right. And Kevin Ali. Yeah. Kevin Ali got. Got some motion. Maybe he should get a chance. But what I am saying is about the, the, having that low post threat, bro. That, that shit is incredible. Well, like, guess what, bro? Like, all we got, all, to all we got to do is you know what I mean to, to anchor the paint in a game. Well, I tell, well, I tell you what. Bro, once we get Zach yeah. Eady, bro, then then right. we off to the race. Had that playbook, <laughs> yo, y'all just got high expectations like, yo, because playbook, what y'all used to seeing. Let's this. go with that playbook, it's Kenny. Not there no more. It's not there no more, bro. We Yo, got when, that. when does Zach Eady come out? This this year or next year? Zach, he got to come this out this year. year. He a senior. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hold on. You know another oh, thing like to add to what Jay said, bro. They was teammates for three seasons, bro. You know, they it wasn't like we was changing teammates every season. Yo, these this, these this, they this were the same to every for like three years in a row. Yeah, facts. This happened to every team too. Remember Tatum and, and Jalen Brown? They, it wasn't so long ago. People kept saying, trade them. They suck as a duo. Jalen Brown is better. And, you know, everybody go through this. You know, you got to just go through the, the trenches. <laughs> yeah, but they were young, though. And, 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 people and, still were saying separate and, them, though. Yeah. On, on, in Detroit, them. they trying to argue over right now. They say that, um, what's the point guard for Detroit? Kate. Yeah, they say Kate Cutterham play better with James Wiseman than he do with Durant. So they having that type problem over there. The fans mm -hmm. want Wiseman to start with Cutterham. I right, listen. If you ask me, bro. It, uh, that is blasphemy. But at the same time, bro, I know Jaden Ivey supposed to be in that backcourt too, and he wasn't in there all year. Asar Thompson's right. supposed to be over there too, bro. Like so, I mean. It's a whole bunch of things that's going on in on other places, but I'm worried yeah, about it. Yeah, but like bro. Jay was saying, we need patience, man. Like, even the OKC team, it took them a while to get here. So it took them, say, like five years or something. So it happens to all Brooklyn. The, pro the, 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 problem, uh, yeah. the, problem, the problem is we in a win-now uh, uh, market. That's that, uh, uh, so to speak. I, I hate to say that or like that, bro, but it, it's kind of true. I mean, but like, when got to be realistic, bro. Like, we... I keep saying it, and I said it from last year to the beginning of the year to now. We just traded two to three Hall of Fame niggas for exactly. a nigga that wear Balenciaga on the bench, and two <laughs> role players, a nigga we just traded, and one other nigga that said that y'all told me it was a 40% shooter, and he can't hit the side of – he can't hit water if he fell out of boat. That's Thank my you. man still, though. But that's where we at with it right now. So Basically. we can't expect yeah. to win with that. Right. But bro, you right. had KD, right. and, that, and that's what you was able to get back. You, you, but then, you know, you know Jay, this is what, 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 what you be and saying, because I, I feel like you be stuff, saying bro. that, nah, they should have let KD yeah. stay. Like, KD shouldn't have been traded. Sean Marshall told him, nah, nigga, you on my team. I agree with you, team. but I also said they should have just paid Kyrie and dealt with everything afterwards. That's basically like, what they should have You did. just pay him, and right. then if you're going to trade him later, whatever, but you figure it out after, but you pay him. That should have bothered They man. fucked everything up, and the fact that they fucked everything up, I'm still a fan. I, I saw the writings on the wall. It don't seem like you get better after that. You know, <laughs> that don't happen. Like you just gotta figure it out for real. Not, not I know some net, some Nets fans was crashing out though after that trade, I, I, saying, "Yo, I, I, it worked yeah, out." Yeah, yeah, you see yeah. this? They, they you see this? Hold on, hold on. Just, hold, he just, hold on, hold on. I want to show y'all this. What's up? Hold on, I want to show y'all this again. Regard and it, we, we, I think Kyrie Irving, as much as Kyrie, I love Kyrie Irving and I got love for KD. They're known for offensive players. As being offensive players, respectfully, when I was a Nets fan in 2018, 2019, when we were 42 and 40, the reason why I was going hard the way I was is not necessarily because I knew we were a good team because of offensive players. It was because of the defense that he had them running. We were 11th 
out of 30. If, bro, that's just shy of the top 10. That's impressive. That's why we were 42 and 40 more than our offense. We were 15 out of 30 as far as offense, so we were better on defense than we were offense, and that's what I thought we were this season. Our Steve defense was trash. He was still better than that. The, the, the stats you just showed, Steve Nash, first season, he was still better than whatever Kenny Atkins was the year that that was good. And even though I'm not taking away from Kenny Atkinson, but he took three years to get there, so I mean, we got to have patience. No, he had the want. stars. <laughs> what the fuck? No, I feel you, and that's what stars do. I mean, because Steve Nash wasn't no good coach. We still was wasn't. a winning team. He stinked. Right. So he right. just had the stars to cover everything up for him. But that's I, I want to respond to something you said, Jay. At this point, we just used to winning, and people think that we. Yeah, I wanted to respond to something you said. Please respond. Okay, so um, I know we got differences of opinion with Kyrie Kyrie Irving, right? Now, yeah. Kyrie Irving, the Nets gave Kyrie Irving and offered him a good contract. Right, they wanted to pay him. The thing that Kyrie Irving got mad about was the stipulations in the contract. Kyrie Irving is getting paid less money than if he was to sign with us. He got pissed off because of the stipulations. The Nets one did try to pay him and give him a decent contract. This was this was put up by Ramona Shelbourne. She said they offered him what, like 196 million. But Kyrie got pissed because it was stipulations in the contract. So why do people keep saying that we ain't want to pay Kyrie? Well, they should have took the stipulations out the contract. Yeah, but I mean, when Kyrie is out there going UA and nobody know where he at, and niggas catching him on Instagram Live at his sister's birthday party. Yeah, he but playing, now he, he hitting left. Play. Now he hitting left-handed shots, that's cool. winners over Luca without drinking that's water. Cool, but none of that shit matter if he don't win the chips. And, and he's keeping it quiet over there too. Ramadan. You know why? Hold on, you know why? Yo, because don't it, forget about hold on, hold on, you, hold on. He was doing it out here. Oh, I swear, you want to know why he's keeping it quiet? <laughs> because he's up for a contract mm. at that's the end of the year. That's why he's keeping it quiet. So it, it's real telling, as talented as Kyrie is, that only one team was willing yeah. to go after him. But ta- ta- really, I say Houston is on the win streak. They're on the eight game look, win My streak. point is, forget you right. You right. And w- how it shook out is how it shook out. But I'm just saying, you got to respect the reality right you because, traded all of the talent off the team right what you expect to happen that's true and i agree with you on that but my thing is niggas was like we want Kyrie, but we want him for the low that's what the lakers was like yeah we want that nigga but we want him for the low we ain't giving up we ain't giving nothing up for that nigga that nigga too much of a wild card yeah, but we'll but, take him for the low though but that's why i said we should have <laughs> resigned we should have just resigned him so it's- yeah I right. love Kyrie game. Kyrie is talented, man. I mean, watching him play basketball is a beautiful thing. It's, it's like a, a it's, it's a work of art. I get it. He's very talented. But we I mean, traded we traded three Hall of Fame t- players off our team. True, but all of that wasn't our fault, though, Jay. Yes, it is. All of it's not our fault, though. I I disagree. <laughs> and I not okay. our fault. We can thing. agree to I disagree because I fought go- as the front office is they fault. It's yeah, they I, fault. I, I'm, I'm gonna agree to disagree on that, bro. But we Yo, can, if uh, I bring a project in at my job and I try to make it work and I'm trying to like no matter whatever situations happen, if it if I brought it in and I do it, I fucked it up. I okay. brought in the fucked up shit. I, Listen, I fucked it up. If you're a boss, right, and you and you're in charge of a company and you got fucking employees, like you got you got good employees, right? You like, damn, I like this guy. He's a good employee, so I'm gonna give him a longer leash. But if that fucking employee keeps fucking fucking you and fucking you, eventually you're gonna be like, nah, I can't, I can't fuck with this dude. Like, I gotta, yeah, but if, something if gotta em- change. If this employee is one of the best fucking in his field, period. Now, I mean, you might have to give him some but more Jay, leeway. But, 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 but what is that? Especially what that if you don't got no other better yeah, options it's, right it, now. It, it's real hard when we got swept. We just got swept. He's the best. Yeah, but what's the, the best better best. option? You said what? You're right. We got swept. Well, what's the better option than him at point guard? I, listen, I would have. <laughs> it's, it's no better. My, my That's thing what is, I'm saying. But my thing is, I would have loved to have kept Kyrie, right? But my thing and is, that's the, I, and plus compounded with the fact that's the only way you but can Jay, keep Jay, but, but, but you got to look at it from a, a man managerial standpoint. You have to protect yourself. 
against a wild card like Kyrie. No, like, I hear him, you. But Kevin Durant is mostly stable, and the only way you keep him is if you keep the wild card too. Yeah, and you knew that from the beginning. You yeah. knew that from point blank jump. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. I think they th- they thought they could keep Kevin um w- without fucking with Kai. That they was really only, they really only dealt with Kyrie. They just saw Cam. I was like, "Yo, Cam, respectfully, good luck, my nigga." <laughs> I'm, I'm right, out, that's what he told him. He's like, respectfully, good luck, man. I wish you the best. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna join. I'm joining D Book and them niggas over there, bro. Yeah, I think we can work over there. I um, mean, I'm not gonna sit up here and say that management wasn't a part to blame. Absolutely, they were a part to blame. But to sit up there and say that Kyrie and the stars didn't have any blame in that, that's kind of that's kind of crazy, my nigga. No, I'm not. I I never said that. All I'm saying is, even with the fact that they got blame in it. Uh, if you want to keep talent on your team and you don't like, if you had a 2K game, would you trade three Hall of Fame niggas off your team? No, <laughs> like, like bro, I don't, that trade the KD trade don't work in 2K, Jay. I tried it, that shit Jay, don't go through. Jay, it's invalid. You act, like, you act like the Nets just woke up one day and was like, Oh, let me trade these three niggas. Harden asked for a trade. Harden said, I want to go to Philadelphia. Get right. me out of here. Right. And he asked and the Rockets. Joey, that's the oh, issue. Wait, wait, that's out. the issue right there you? why people he are not with the Mark. same thing, and they said no. No, he's like, this nigga Kyrie Irving is not serious about fucking winning a No, but James Harden, James Harden asked the Rockets, yo, y'all could trade me to uh, Philadelphia, please? They said no. Like you go right, that's the issue that people got with Sean Marks now. Like, they think they say they thought well, some people that. think that yo, Sean Marks should have let his nuts hang and be like, nah, if out of here, y'all playing for my team. Yeah, I don't gotta yo, trade y'all niggas nowhere. Right, that's easy yo, to LL, say, but this Marks is a player's is league, cool though. With these players. Hostage. He's trying to tell him, like, yo, I told you this last season. I told you, yo, if, if this don't work out, then I'll trade you here. So since th- this didn't work out, I'm going to trade you there. But w- it's a contract. KD, you signed the contract. You're here. The, uh, James Harden, nigga, I don't know, man. He being too nice is what I'm saying. It, but at the same time, I do think he should have signed Kyrie because once you sign, okay. Some- so what? What if? What if you go? What if you sign? What if you tell these niggas, yo, y'all not going nowhere, and they just don't play? Or they KD go out wasn't going to do that. I'd have challenged. They go, or they go out there and they stink it up and sabotage it. I'd have, I'd have played chicken with KD because he's not going to do that. He's a hooper. And yeah, with yeah, Kyrie, crazy. It sounds good though. It sounds real K- good. When you when KD ever sat out. Y'all niggas yeah. got to understand, players run the league. Play stars ball. run the league, man. Hey, you you the out, nah. Players, do players the don't. You players do run all. the league, but at the end of the day, it's still a business. We saw DeRozan get traded like hotcakes when Toronto promised him, oh, yo, you're going to be here for the long haul. you staying here. This going to be your city. They traded him for it. They traded him for hotcakes. Because stars do run the league, and we traded all of them. So what you expect? This hey, is what we it's get. It's a business at the end of the yeah, day, bro. Anybody can get God. Between That's stars, what we get. That's what we you, it's a you want between, to get the stars off the team, get them right. off the, the team. Between we stars and superstars, though. Everywhere Harden asked to go, did he not go there? He didn't go to Philly firsthand. Yeah, he came he here. He didn't want to go to Philly firsthand. I don't know where Jay he is. He came here and took a reduced road that he wanted to not take. Brian, whatever the fat nigga name is, said that. He had he had a choice between Philly and Brooklyn. He cho- KD court pierced him to come to Brooklyn because he liked the idea of playing with KD and Kyrie. He, he wanted to come here. His, well, uh, his fat he didn't want to take the reduced here. role. He wanted to run. He wanted to play the third fiddle and ride the coattails of KD play. and Kyrie to a championship. When shit got hard, bro, but Philly was always on his mind, though. It wasn't okay, like, oh, Brooklyn Nets right, came right, out or whatever. Right, Philly right, was always right, on his mind. His first you misquoting that, though. He did not want to come and be the th- ride the coattail. They convinced him that it would have been right. an easy way to a chip. But he did is- not want to oh, wait. Okay, he did ahead. not want to be behind them niggas. He wanted to be a scoring threat. He did not want to just Tripping, be a passing bro. facilitator. He Look never wanted that. No, Harden wanted to come here and ride their coattails and be the third option. He liked that. 
He liked the idea of playing with Kyrie and KD. The reason he didn't want to be this big scoring option because the nigga got tired of carrying. That's why he left Houston. And that's why he ran his ass to Philly once KD got hurt and Kyrie was in and out of the fucking lineup because that that put him in the number one position at the time and he didn't want to deal with it. That's what happened. I think he always wanted to go to Philly, bro. I, don't, no, I right. just think he, Brooklyn Brooklyn came, I, he always wanted to go this to Philly, bro. Second. I just think Brooklyn came exactly. came in the keys and was like, you know what, fine, maybe I can try to win here or something. Exactly. And then they they pulled him up. But he Philly was all when they listed the teams that yo Harden could potentially go to. Philly was on that. So you telling me if you James Harden and you like, damn, I want to get a path to the championship, you gonna take playing with fucking. Joel and B over playing with Kyrie Irving and KD. That's he wanted to go to. play under Daryl Morey. That's what oh, it was about. Right. Oh, no. That's he what it was, was about. Daryl Morey is his man, no doubt, but Cardin wanted a way to get a championship. He wanted no, a That's how they convinced. And for what it's worth, when they was playing together, they ain't look all that bad either. Yeah, they got cooked, they got cooked by Boston, but niggas were saying, yo, that duo was dangerous. And B needed somebody. Tyrese Maxey wasn't near what he was yet, and they needed somebody to to score besides M B. Nigga's the only one averaging thirty on that team. The yeah, I want to go there and see what I can do with M B. Playoffs like he always do. That's what happened. Harden won them a, a, a Harden game Harden when that nigga M B was out. I mean, Harden, Harden choked in the playoffs like he always do, and Maury and them promised him money, and then once they seen him stinking it up in the playoffs, they had second thoughts on giving that nigga a contract. And he got mad about it because Maureen and reneged on their fucking deal. <laughs> That's so, what that was. Maury is snake anyway. You said what? Maury did what Sean Marks wouldn't have did. He reneged on that deal. Sean Marks would have said, yo, I told you that last summer, so yeah, I'm going to make sure that happens. Hey, Jay, did, did J- James Harden still get to the Clippers? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so it don't matter. He still got what he wanted. But the, the only thing I do agree with you on is that Sean Mark should have got a better return for um for Harden. I, I will say that. I think Maury punked the shit out of him and gave him whatever he wanted to give him. I will say that. But I will not. You should have got a better return for all these niggas, not just I will, Harden. I, I will not put the whole blame um of the whole big three downfall on the front office. Well, what, what's a better return, though? Like, what, what would you want it from Philly? I'm telling them niggas, yo, I want Tyrese Maxey. If Tyrese Maxey ain't in the deal, I'm hanging the phone nah, up. I want, yeah. it, I want it Harris on the team. I Hell no. no. Hell no. That I nigga, that, Hell that, no. That that nigga is Cam Johnson 2.0. The fact, that you, you, the fact that you got KD and you don't get no young talent, no picks, no nothing to return like that is fucking right. insanity, yeah, I, 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 bro. You giving up Maxey, and, and if not, I'm hanging the phone up. Straight up, yo, that's insanity. Yeah, I agree with you, bro. I agree with that. The thing is, nigga, yeah, word around the block is niggas saying if they was trading KD to Phoenix, niggas they wanted Booker, but I don't think they wasn't gonna do that. Yo, I'm, I'm telling you, not you no if I was trading oh. him, I wasn't trading him for nothing less than a star. I'm telling you. Like, I feel I like we should have tried to ask for Aiden, but Aiden on this team, the man, but the they didn't want Aiden's contract. Aiden's contract. They didn't want we, we could have did that, right? We could have did that, but then you're, you're going back on your deal. Like, you're trading KD somewhere that he didn't want to go, and no team is going to win. But listen, but no team is going to want to take him if they feel like he don't want to play there. I would have traded him back to OKC and got something nice. You know? <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> but I'd have got checked while he was in Okay, so you're telling me about that you're going to get a team to trade for a disgruntled star that don't want to be there. <laughs> But Joe, yeah. even if he got traded to a team that he didn't, it's not like he could sit. Uh, at the point, end of the day, he was gonna have to play regardless that where he went. Right, baby. But that's the, that's the card that the net hold over everybody. I, if you a star, you come here. I will find a way to send you where you want to go. If you if you if you act right, the if only person they go, didn't do exactly the only person they didn't do that with was Kyrie because he's a fucking knucklehead, and they was like, "Nah, we just gonna send you the way we want to send." You. Right, so you get no love. Like you don't, you don't. And you if K- and playing. if KD wasn't. Regardless if they traded him to the team he didn't want to go to or not, if they traded him to a team he didn't want to go to, that's not our problem anymore. They got they got to deal with that. Yeah, but when you if, try to get, when you trying to get players, yeah, like you gotta look at you gotta look at Detroit. They traded him to go play with Luca. Nah, yeah, but he didn't want to go there. 
You know what I'm saying? When you, when you try, Mike Cuban was probably the best thing for him anyway. When you try, he, get he, he gave him cook vegan meals and shit. Yeah. Mark Cuban is hey, so catch an alley. He catch an alley. You from Luka and all that fake like, ass shit up. Mark Cuban, oh, he's such a nice guy. He embraced Kyrie. That nigga's full of shit. Mark Cuban's a dickhead. Mark Cuban about making money. Whatever. That nigga's a he's a slime ball, just like all the rest of them fucking billionaire owners. <laughs> Yo. Of course, and you know think... what? The only reason why that that door opened up for um, Kyrie in Dallas. It's two things. It's because it was pressure on Dallas to get the help. Everybody was like, we need help. Luka doesn't have to get help. Yo, Lee, mute your shit. Yeah, mute your shit. You seem like a pretty responsible person. So, like, you know, I'm So, the fact that, um, the fact that everybody was crying that Luka needed help. And Dallas, the front office was on the hot seat about that. And then on a, and, and then another fact is that Jason Kidd vouched for Kyrie. Cause he fuck, they he fucked with Kyle. That's the only reason he went to Dallas, bro. He probably would have still been in Brooklyn if it wasn't for that. Cause nobody else was trying to move any furniture to get that nigga. No, there wasn't. But I will say that organization did what they could for Luca. They got everybody. <laughs> they got everybody over there for him. So if he yeah. don't win nothing, if you know what I mean. This year, what's what's it gonna be? Cause he got Kyrie. Right. And I don't think they're going to win shit. I, they're a good team, but they ain't winning nothing. He, he ain't got a lot of threats for days. <laughs> Part of it is luck, too, because if it wasn't for the draft, they wouldn't have Lo- They wouldn't have Derek Lively. So I think they I think they probably got uh, at the trade deadline with P.J. Washington Yo, and them boys. This nigga, Lee, man. <laughs> This nigga, I don't know what he got going on in his back. He, on, he in a bathroom break. Yeah, I don't know. I had to mute him up real quick. Pawn, yeah, pawn, pawn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think they, they, they hit with lively. I think with lively, they, they, uh, they yeah, needed a big. That was one thing that was missing from from their rotation. Yeah, I like. Lively. If they don't get it done this year, I don't. Then maybe Luca ask for a trade. I don't know. Nah, I think I think they're gonna try to um resign Kai, and they they'll probably try to run it back, and they'll try to try to probably try to improve around. The and game. hold on, y'all. On another note, Houston is on an eight game winning streak. Them niggas been wilding uh for the past few games. Jalen Red Fleet and Jalen Green just combined for ninety two points today. <laughs> 92 points tonight, yo. Yo, I'll stay bowling. I ain't y'all told me Jalen got them. Green for Mikael Bridges wasn't a good idea. I thought it might have been, especially if you get another player and three picks. And he about to have a son, and he would have been bowling like that over yo, here. Am I, the only one, <laughs> am I the only one who think Josh Hart is annoying? That nah, that, that's real. That's that count. Hold on, he about to have a son, bro. That shit means something. I ain't gonna lie to you. He he, I mean, he would have been putting up bucks over here. <laughs> I told you what they was saying about him. So because he may been been coaching him up, and then and then he ha- he had some added motivation. He's been playing good for the like what is it the last twenty five games or something. But before that, like I said, they were saying the same thing that we say about y'all say about Bridges over here. The niggas disappointing, not doing good and shit. A whole bunch of shit. They were saying the same shit. That's why they wanted to get rid of him. Yeah, but Bridges can't jump like him. Uh, that, Yo, uh, do, am I the only one? That boy could jump. This, this nigga Josh Hart is annoying. You seen that shit he said about Mikel? It's like Squidward looking out the window, and but it's like SpongeBob meme when Squidward is looking out. Yeah, the that window. was mad corny. Yeah, he's so. Nah, corny. but he do look like that. It was true. Nah. <laughs> 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 to be honest, bro, all of the team. Yeah, to I be honest. All them niggas corny. They could have that nigga if they gave us. No, Knicks, Knicks fans want Mikel so bad, bro. They be because trying to recruit him trying to over there. The Villanova, they trying to create recreate the Villanova Wildcats. Like that shit gonna win them a championship. Fucking idiots. But anyway, nah, y'all seen Mikel hit that three quarter shot though? That was nice. Yeah, that was a tough shot. Man, he beat he ain't beat the Knicks since he's been here on the team, man. That's not enough at all. He don't care That's about he don't care about he can't beat the, beat the Knicks by himself, bro. Like yo, <laughs> right? <laughs> yo. We need more. We need more personnel, bro. bro. And Johnson not gonna him. cut it. Cla- yo, Clax need to go. Hardenstein was eating his food. Yo, that nigga need to go, bro. I'll, I'm sorry. After what I've seen tonight, y'all nigga said he was I, a big I'm presence. Cool. 
Y'all said he was a paid presence, though. Hartenstein cook him every time they play him, bro. I mean, <laughs> is is what it is. They are seven hold on, foot two fifty. And hold on, this is why. What this is that nigga? Uber reason. driver or something? Hold on, hold on. This is this is, this is, another, reason why, this is another reason why I'm mad. When Hartenstein was in the free agency, I thought we should have went out and got How the hell that tall nigga fit in the Uber? <laughs> he probably was in like he probably was like in the, like a them big them big dodge. Oh, he had uh, to be driving Uber Black, right? Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. when Hardenstein when Hardenstein was on a free agent, bro, I remember the Clippers. They let him go. I was like, yo, why they let him go, bro? He be scoring points on his own, like he don't, and he run the pick and roll with Jalen Brunson, bro. We needed him, bro. He would be the man on our team, bro. Bro, yo, bro post hook and clack in every time. Do post hook, post hook, right? Bullying. <laughs> Yo, Breeze, you know, y'all better not start sitting in here fantasizing over. But Breeze, you're gonna be a free agent this year, I think. Yeah, no. this summer. This summer. And you're a free agent. No, nah, I'm telling you, we need a center. We keep talking about what we need, man. Like, I'm bro, you know I do the podcast, so I know about their players and shit. Let me let me but, tell you something. But, about but I'm telling you, I'm telling you, bro, like need players when he was a free agent, I wasn't players. like, damn, and it, I let it go as soon as he went to the Knicks, you know. It's I ain't like, gonna lie, cracks on the Knicks and Harden's on the Nets would be hilarious. That shit would be right. funny as hell. Yo, if Clax was on the Knicks and Hartenstein was here, that's going to be Jay, funny. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Clax just need to I'm dunk a... on everybody and I'm stop actually... trying to do fall away layups. Hey, I want to ask yeah, you. Yeah, like that shit is hold dumb. On, I want to ask you a question. I want to start with um with Jay yeah, yeah. responding first. Um, are we paying Claxon or not? Um, are you paying him? That's a good question, but um, maybe. Maybe it depends yeah. on if we work out a deal. Bro, you were singing, I, I, a, you were singing a totally different tune in here a couple months ago. I just, I just told you why earlier. I just told you why earlier. If him and Cam got a problem that can't be worked out, that's that we got to figure that out because Cam to me is the crown jewel of this offense, and Clax, you are the crown jewel of this defense. But I need you and him to play nice, and if y'all can't. Then Dayron is going to take your spot, and we got Clowny too. <laughs> but other than that, you and Dayron are the twin towers, oh, and Clowny is going to be the four and all that. But yeah. if not, then I, I don't know what's up. Mm, pack that nigga. Uh, uh, my bad, bro. I just hit. Um, I, I seen what you was talking about, bro. This nigga had thirty and twenty one yesterday. Because if you don't want, if he don't want to play nice with Cam. Then that means he wants to be on another team. Who had 30 and 21? Oh, this nigga Zach Eady. God damn. This nigga had 30 and 21 something. He's 7 4. He better got 20, he 21 rebounds, right? I told you he was going yeah. crazy. And you know, yeah, another, you, know what I, you know what I like about him? He moved very well for his size, man. Very well. He yeah. moved very well. He definitely well. do. Like, he, he moves like, I, and the thing is, I didn't think like the thing is is like most of his most of his frame is really lower body strength, bro. Like niggas can't really move him. Hey, that easy. yo, that's, that's <laughs> not that's not even an A. That's not even an A, yo, bro. Hey, 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 that's hey, not hey, an A, yo, bro. That hey, doesn't hey, deserve that. Hey, hey, Jay, Jay just hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, Jay, did you Jay, hear Jay that? just said hold on, hold on, shit. hold on, hold on, y'all. Hey, Jay, did you hear the yo, new what's thing? the eyes of weird strip hold come on, from? Hey, Jay, Jay, did you hear the new thing is uh instead of no homo is no diddy? Did yeah, no that? diddy, man. The weird oh, no diddy, nah. nah. We know we're we not, we not doing that. that. <laughs> we know we're not doing that. Nah, no, we not doing that. No, you said it wasn't a no diddy, so I didn't ask you. Nah, 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 wait, hold up. Wait, wait, wait. You might have to put the entertainment thing at the bottom, yo. Yeah, 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 yeah. We gonna have to put the ENT. Hold on, hold on, hold on, yeah, the Before you say another word, before you say another word, continue. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yo, there we go. Hey, but there we go. Yeah, you, you, yo, you, you said you it, and I was like, that. hey, yo, and you like it wasn't, but where strips come from? Yo, hold on. So hold on, y'all gonna explain this because I I'm not, I didn't hear this. Yeah, y'all, y'all y'all bringing this up, Joey? Can you explain what you were you talking about? This this yeah, no so, diddy, no, no homo really pause. I didn't yeah, mean so that. Willie Mills. Is, uh, yeah, I got you. Real quick. Re- real quick. Said, recap. No Willie, ditty, though. Oh, man. Willie Mills is a, a rapper out of Philly. And um, he was on a show with Academics. 
and mm-hmm. he and he the one who made it up and he's like yo um i'm gonna put all my dudes in position no diddy <laughs> and um and, and he was basically you know using that instead of he was that you instead of you know the the h you know the the h word the no h word i don't want to get you right 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 right, 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 everybody start running crazy with it on social media and starts and start replacing i know bro a philly nigga bro coin that shit bro like this is this is crazy bro come on no diddy nah i'm i'm not nah i'm listening (laughs) we go i'm not involved bro like yo I'm just is, saying. I, is that nigga still coughing up money, bro, from from uh, motherfucking uh, 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 niggas about to sue, bro? Like, and he ain't even getting into the dispute, bro. Like, nigga, that means anybody could get some bread off him right now, bro. Like, that's crazy. That nigga I just got a guilty to stop conscience. What you were saying about Zach Eady, I was just trying to say it sounded crazy. Listen, yeah. listen all I all I know, bro. The nigga's seven foot four, three hundred pounds. And he don't move like he's seven foot four, three hundred pounds. He moves like somebody that's way, way quicker. That's fact. That's a fact. I I'm telling you, bro. Like you just gotta listen. If you just watch the nigga play, it, his buckets are simple, but, right, but the way, but the way that he get, the, with the way that he uh, uh get the way that he get like the rebound, the, the get in position for rebounds and and, and the paint. I'm telling you, bro. Like he, listen, how many nigga, of y'all actually believe the Nets and make a move to try to get this guy? Probably none, bro, because Sean Marks is allergic to niggas like Zach we, get, we ain't got no picks this year. But they could get right. a pick this year if they wanted to. If they trade in a draft? Are you signing Nick Claxton? <laughs> how many of them are you signing? It depends on how they feel, feel about well, Nick Claxton. Well, the Klaxton. thing, is, well, the oh, thing yeah. is, everything that Jay was saying about Nick, the Nick Claxton and Cam Thomas situation to me, it sounds a little bit more like, yo, that's that's more of the of the issue because if he having them issues with Cam Thomas, he probably gonna be the first person out the door, being that he looking for a new contract. You know what I'm saying? He probably want to be somewhere else and just saying, I'm like, yo, I, I ain't trying to stay here with these niggas. Yo, because I, I got I got my Madden franchise and all that, and the more uh, out, definitely. It'd be oh, making yeah. a difference of whether oh, you, yeah. if you want to play on the team, that morale is important. That morale is important. It is. is I, forgot, I forgot about the morale, bro. Oh, so speaking of, speaking of which, bro, I'm getting hold out of football hold and shit, too. Leave. Leave, leave. Hold on, hold on. We, we, um, as we take a closer look into Zach Eady and his rookie year, he averaged 8.7. Then it jumped to 14.4. Then it jumped again. To 22.3, and then again, once more, he averaged 24. And don't forget the about some coming. rebounds and them blocks, bro. Um, like, he, like, the thing yeah, is, go ahead, go ahead, break it down, break it down, Leaf. So, so, so the thing is, year by year, his first year, he was only playing 14 minutes for Purdue of all schools, and then the next year, he was playing 19 minutes. Those are bench minutes in the league, those are less than bench minutes in, in, to, in the, uh, the NBA. So, 31 minutes in the last two years, player of the year last year, and probably going to be player of the year this year. With averaging those, bro, uh, on basically dominant uh, uh 62% from the field and, and um still being able to shoot a, a respectable free throw percentage, bro. Like, this is the type of player that you need. 5.5 offensive rebounds and almost five offensive rebounds again and splitting those numbers into two and in, in, into the defensive rebounds and man in the paint and your assist numbers getting better and better, bro. Like, to me personally, bro, like, I think this is a player, bro. Like, if, if you listen, if you don't want him to do nothing offensively, bro, that's fine. But you need somebody to man your paint. You need somebody that, that's going to be a rebounding present. I'm but focusing on hold that. On, hold on, but to know, but to to your point, um, he shoots at a high clip. You know, um, yeah, sixty-two percent is nothing to sneeze at. I, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say shy away from a Zach Eady on the offensive side of the ball. He's somebody that looked like they could play with their back to the basket. And with, from what it looked like, he gets to the line a lot this year. You know, what maybe you because he was playing a year last year, he get that nod from the referees. Like, yo, you know, mm-hmm. they all power them. We watching him now. Like, he be yeah. playing a year last year. And that's well, a significant difference in his free throws from last year to this year, too. I mean, he averaged seven free throws, 7.1 to 11.3. Yeah, that's I, that's I, 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 I strongly believe, bro. Like in terms of him getting the ball, in terms of back to the basket, um, in the in the NBA, obviously it's gonna be like a few touches here and there. It depends on what else, what else a part of his game that expands. If 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 it's, 
if he figures out how to pass out of double teams out of the post at an elite level on some Joker shit on on some Joel shit, then we're gonna be featuring on that. But that's that's in due time. Right now, bro, we need him to like the like we need somebody that's gonna man the paint, block shots, rebound on their own, throw the outlet pass, but uh uh uh. uh Fill, fill the lanes, be a presence, bro, and draw a lot of attention. So that way we can uh, free up a lot of uh, uh, free up a lot of other players on our team to do the shit that they need to do. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like so, off, off the rip, seven foot four, three hundred pounds, bro. L- listen, I got a whole listen. I I done praised from the time that Jay said it, bro. I done praised the hell out of Day Ron, bro, for his rebounding ability and for his ability uh, uh, to be in the paint and be a presence in the paint. But let's face it, this nigga ain't who he, he this nigga ain't him. He ain't, bro. Like, and neither is Claxton, bro. And Claxton is already having issues, bro, with uh uh, uh with Cam Thomas, bro, as um Jay was a uh, point uh, alluded to. So I the hope thing they is, not, that's what I just keep hearing, and it seemed like they was arguing in the court one time. I feel like right. I mean that. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, but Jay, but if you saying that and, and if you saying that. And then you seen Noah Clowney the other night, bro, do to do what he did against uh Giannis. My thing is is like I, I don't think uh the, Yo, the, the I told next y'all from jump when I seen uh Jared Allen, then I seen Nick Claxton. Now I see Nick Claxton, then see Noah Clowney. I see what they trying to do. Like they like what Yo, is, I what got is that? one, but I got another one behind them just in case I don't need that one. And okay, so so I mean they I, did with Jared Allen. I mean, oh, oh, so so. Are you saying Noah Clowney is is the final upgrade to what they needed, what they want as a, a player that could stretch the floor, block shot, no, and play saying, defense? I'm saying if they decide to use Nick Claxton as trade bait, they got Noah Clowney just in case they got to trade Claxton. That was the I, plan I, to I get him you. in the first place. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you on that. I, I, so, uh, uh, and and you got a written in. We can't even forget, bro. The uh, the Derek Whitehead uh, uh, wild card that's in the air for next year. Excuse me for the uh, the wild card that's in the air for next year as well, because he didn't play. The next year is basically going to be his rookie season. So that's basically our our pick for you know next year this 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 upcoming draft. So realistically. The question is, like Joey was asking, are you paying the Claxton? But this is the other question along with that. So no, you, I'm not. If you going, if you got to sign, if you can sign and trade Nick Claxton, what is Nick worth? If he is he worth a, a, a first round and and a player, or is he just worth a pick? He's worth he's worth a, a he, he might be worth a, a first round and a player, bro. See how yo see 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 if you could get the most for him that you could possibly get. I'd be surprised. I'd be surprised if we get. So you trying to flip Nick Claxton for Zach Eady? Bro, the thing is, you th- uh, listen. If, if Nick Claxton don't want to resign, I say flip him. Flip him. Go ahead, flip him in the sign and trade. Do do, do do Listen, get get whatever you can get on the return, but don't so, end up with nothing. So hold on, hold on. There. Okay, I mean, you know, I'm just stirring the pot. So you saying that we flip Claxton to sign and trade to get Zach Eady, make him our starting center? Man, we uh, go, well, we yeah. go to Claxton. We telling him, yo. Cam Thomas about to get 25 shots a night. You okay with that? They it seem be, like you yo. got a problem with him shooting. Yo, That's no, no, no. And the on, thing on. is, when Dayron, the thing is, when we, when, when Cam shoot, Dayron be ready for all them rebounds. He know when Cam going to make them. Exactly. He, know when make them. He, exactly. Follow, exactly. he follow Cam Thomas' shot. Now, I mean, Nick, we exactly. need you to do that. If you're not going to do that, if you mad at him getting 25 shots, then I guess because we got to part ways. The trenches. Well, well, okay. Okay, okay. All right. So based off what Jay just said, he talked about how Dayron is ready for uh, when Cam Thomas is shooting the ball. That's the reason why he's getting a lot of rebounds. Zach Eady basically advances that because he's playing for rebounds as well. So the thing is, bro, like you, you got Dayron, who already know Cam Thomas is a well because some Zach Eady highlights. Y'all got some? Anybody? Or yeah, yeah, I can, I can, I can, it I should be on Twitter. 
No, I'm just asking because I ain't I seen none of them. Now. I mean, I mean but but I listen, before about. you play, before you, you gotta play with the, you gotta play with the sound off though. You gotta play with the sound off. Okay, play with the sound off. That's what it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. You okay. gotta play with the sound oh, off. Okay, okay. So, oh, all right, cool. And cool. even if it's just for a minute, just a couple of them. We ain't got yeah, play yeah, no, nah, nah. I didn't, I didn't know what it was. I was always shy to play the clips because you know they'd be fucking knocking the stream down. But if I could just right. use, if I could just take the silence, put the silence on it, that's all good. I could do that. I got yeah, it. Definitely, definitely. But, but, but yeah, fan, right? again, again, um, I'm excited as a Nets fan. If if we got our offenses being ran with Zach Eady and Cam Thomas, that's gonna be something to be excited about. So well, that's so, real know, far fetched at this point, though, right? Yeah, it, it, it is. It is far fetched. But to go point. back to your point about Dayron. The reason why Dayron know what Cam is going to do because they spent a lot of time in the G League together. And exactly. Dayron, Dayron always said, every time I tell Cam get on the floor, I'm telling him to score because I will get the rebound if he, if he missed. Yo. See, Nick Claxton, Nick Claxton. Well, I, I never just, heard him say that, but that's what it looked like. No, that's, that's, what it, that, that's what it, yeah, that's what it looked like, the chemistry that they got because uh, I think Jay had punched on it, bro. Like, Jay, you was the first person to mention that. They play with they've been playing with each other since they both got drafted in the same time. They was in the same draft together anyway. So right. the thing is, they were on the same timeline. So if you, by saying that, uh, do y'all think Noah Clowney or or or, 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 or Jalen Wilson and um Derek Whitehead got the same chemistry as well? Well, they have a little bit, but uh Derek didn't play long enough with Jay Wills in the G League because he got hurt, but they mm -hmm. was trying to figure it out while they was down there. Mm. He played. He played a few games with him. Hold on. So is it, to, hold on. Hold on. Is it fair to say Cam Thomas and Dayron Sharp got the most chemistry on this team? Probably. Probably. Let me. Could you add Trendon Wofford in there? Because remember, Trendon and um, Cam used to play too at LSU. Right. And I feel like them two be looking good together too. But right. this coaching don't be putting the right lineups out, bro. And that's what I think. Right. The, this whole season is the right lineups ain't been on the floor at the right time. So, and so, that's so, what the coach is supposed to do. All right. So, the since, players in the position so since we team. start to figure this puzzle out, bro, like, so basically what we thrive off of is, is players, player, player chemistry. And it's something that we did jumped on, bro, before the season even started. We was like, bro, we got players that played together in different places. But the thing is, I think the most important players that are, um, in terms of chemistry that played together is the players that we already had before we even made the trades. That's what I think, bro, because the thing is, Clacton is looking for a check. This is one of the reasons why he want the ball. You know what I'm saying? So he going to be in spots where he going to be like, yo, I'm wide open. Yo, yo, yo. I need you to hurry up and lock me the ball. But who da, 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 da. Sure don't want the ball? Hold on. Hold on. No, 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 I, hold on. I, I really, I'm going to be honest. I really think that Nick. <laughs> Not a lot of niggas want the ball, bro. I'm telling I think, you. I think, I, think you could, I think you could trade Nick Claxton for Zach Eads. I'm going to keep it real. So I think it's possible. I think, yeah, I think you can too. I mean, but. but, but well, I think it's realistic. Yeah. I think it's possible. He has to be willing to do a signing trade for that to happen. He got yeah, he, has to, he has to, he got to be willing to do a sign trade book for yeah, sure. Why but, he got to be willing? But, uh, because he he after this season his contract is is done. Like if, you know what I mean, he yeah. could just walk. He could just walk if he wants to. He ain't got to. Oh, okay, yeah. So he got right, be right. He can he can just sign. yeah he could yeah he got to be willing to um sign with the team that uh we sending him to for Zach Eady. But right. um but but they but, could but give but, him whatever but, he want and then trade but, him to another team. But the common denominator out of all of this, bro, like what everything that I'm telling you about Zach Eady, in terms of the paint, this nigga is a rebounding machine, bro. Like, yo, rebounding, shot blocking, bro. Like, and listen, you already seen what Dayron could do off the bench. Imagine what he could do, bro, in the, in yo, the start you lineup. My boy Dayron is num number two in offensive rebounds off the bench. Not me, number two in the whole NBA. The who only number one? The yeah, only uh, person. Andre who who number one? It's Andre, Andre Drummond. Drummond. <laughs> Drummond? That's the only that's, person. Wait, 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 wait. That's it? Yeah, that's it. Andre Drummond, number that's one. The only person in front of him. I mean, that I ain't going to lie. That, that and nigga. if he got more minutes, he would get more rebounds. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Like, listen, Drummond always been a problem on the boys. I ain't gonna lie yeah, to we you. We traded brother. him too. He was a good look on this yeah, team. Yes, yes, he did. Yeah. I, I wouldn't say that. I mean, at the time that we had, yeah, bro, you don't remember that time when he that did time. the layup? He ran to the fast break and he mad slow. He did the peace sign. Yeah, I remember that. He Yo, yeah, bro, that I, was I my remember that. Layup for I, I remember that, but I wouldn't. 
At, at the time that we had him, we just didn't have the right pieces in place. We man. just we, didn't re- use him right, bro. He was supposed to be out there get a beast on I the I mean, floor. but but you got to remember, we had LaMarcus Aldridge uh, coming, coming yeah, back, bro. He, can, he played slowed up game down. He was more of a half-court player. Yeah, so he wasn't beasting on the boards like drumming. Word. And hold on. And again, if they want to add to what uh, Jay said, the, him being teammates with Cam Thomas again, I'm excited. If we could get, I don't know if we could keep Clax and have Zach Eby, but I do think it is. It has how you say it's motion with that. There's motion it with is motion. It, it is motion. Clax with, with getting Zach Eby. Yeah, man, I, I'm on board, bro. It I, is I, motion I, with it, bro. Like I, what I will, what I will tell y'all is, I'm a Clax fan, though, man. I keep saying that. I what I want to see Clax stay at the four and Zach Eady start at the five. That's what I really want. I never even seen Zach Eady, so I can't say nothing about him. I'm not going to lie to you, but listen, Zach, I don't think Zach Eady is nothing to sneeze at in terms of being an elite rebounder in this league, bro. Like, I, I'm not going to lie to you, bro. Like, listen, if you need somebody to clean, listen, to, to clean up the paint, bro, to me, bro, like in this draft, this like this is a no brainer. Like to me, bro. Like he, listen, he, he already gonna have to lose weight anyway, bro. Off the seven foot four, three hundred pounds probably. But still, bro. Like he's mobile enough to move to move around and still be able to uh, get at least, bro. He if he come in the league, bro. Like if he get thirty something minutes a, a, a game next year, he is averaging over twelve rebounds a game. I'm calling it, bro. I'm not. I'm not. Be, I'm not lying about that. He, I'm so where, where, where do you think he falls in the draft? He was player of the year last year. The people are not going to just not notice him, bro. Like, I yeah. mean, no, no, no. Here's here's the thing, bro. With this draft, yeah, it's, you know, the, immediately he's a first. I mean, but but what every every draft, bro. I think they they looking they looking for like the next superstar. They don't see superstar with Zach Eady, bro. They see somebody that it, it, yo he, he too. Too tall, he too heavy. He not gonna be mobile enough, bro. It's a lot of teams that's just gonna be like, man, I don't know about what. Like, nah, nah, we giving that up. Yeah, I think, I think he may not be on maybe like you know pace is a stack. He may not be on maybe the the team or a team that has like the fastest pace in the league or maybe even a top five, top ten team. You you you, you got you got to look at it. You got to look at it this way, bro. Like, he, he may not run a fastest pace, but he'll be on a team or maybe with the pace between ten and twenty. Like yeah, well, I, I, I put it, I put it, I put it to you this way, bro. Like top fifteen, I think. I I I I'll put it to you this way, bro. Like listen. They, they did. We just got finished seeing Wimby get drafted number one at seven foot four, a buck ninety. You know, and we already see what this nigga could do, bro, on the court, bro, in terms of like putting the ball on the floor and shooting threes and all that crazy shit. This nigga's basically a creative player. Now you basically reverting back to that with like a state, like somewhat of a standstill big. Like his comparisons is basically Yao Ming with better speed. That's do that's what it's, Yeah, yeah, he can shoot. He, 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 he can shoot, bro. Like, I mean, but he mostly on the board. So, like, the thing is, it's kind of like Drake. It's kind of like Dayron in a sense, bro. Like, most of his work is on the boards. Most of his okay. work is in the paint. So, so the thing, and the nigga is unstoppable enough, bro. Like, to get in the paint and muscle and and lay and, and muscle niggas and move niggas out of the way. Nobody really challenges him, bro. You you really want to be down there fighting with seven foot four, three hundred pounds? They double two. They double team, team and triple team uh, Zach they Eby in college, bro. Triple team him, bro. So the thing is, you don't want to be down there fighting with them. They don't even fight with they run. So to me, it's a no brainer. <laughs> right. Yo, hold on. I'm going to say this like this. Oh, if we got Dayron Sharp and Zach Eady in the well, same team, they bruises. Well, I'll tell you Dayron what. Sharp is a bruiser, bro. You get physical what. with him down there, he get physical too. Like uh, last year, uh, we was playing Orlando, and I saw Manute Bow's son just out there putting in work on us. Right, right. And I was like, "Yo, I thought we that'd be good if we have a guy like that on our team, man. Somebody that's seven foot and shit, and could mm-hmm. shoot and shit like that." And then yeah. in the summer, Orlando let him go, and I said, "Oh nah. shit, Sean Marks is gonna pick him up immediately." And nope. I waited by my phone, and I never seen it. And the thing is, I don't think these guys prioritize seven foot people. 
Nope. Going to 18. They don't, don't, bro. They don't. I mean, they don't. Not, not unless it's Kevin Durant for sure. <laughs> bro, because I, I was thinking what we could trade for him. They let him go. He was there for free. Yo, Yo that man, Harry, to, all he had to do was get his number. That's hold on, hold on, hold on. Bobo, you can put up Remember, the remember oh, Harry Lord. Giles? They had a press conference about Harry Giles. They was like, Yo, he's such a nice guy. He, I'm saying this to Jay's point. He was a seven footer. He's such a nice guy. Yada yada yada. They didn't give him no minutes. And when he did, you could tell he was mad. Like, oh, now they won't play me. Garbage time. Right? This ain't no real opportunity. Um, but hold on, Coach Ed Gladney. Amazing world of sports in the comments says, Coach, what up, man? The defensive liability, his lateral movement is questionable. Bigs can blow by him. He can he can go outside the paint. He I was can- gonna bring that up because if we got we got Dayron and him, they're gonna get eaten up on the perimeter. I think mo- mobility mobility is probably his his only question mark, bro. Like I'll be honest with you, bro. Like I mean, well, see, but, this oh, is what I be saying, Lee. If mobility is his only question mark, and you know this team, they say that they want to be the most mobile team in the NBA. You think they're going to go after a guy like that? I mean, listen, it's a, it's a suggestion, bro. Like, I mean, all, I, all I'm going to say is, bro, like, I feel like I feel like if we do get him, bro, and uh, and all of his skill set is, 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 is advanced, bro, and everything, and everything in his repertoire is advanced, I feel like teams is going to be trying to adapt more to more to uh, uh, his playing style and more to stopping him than he is going to be adapting to how to stop them. That's that's what I think, bro. Like I think I just I just think that, bro. Like I mean, I could be crazy for thinking that, but it is what it is, bro. Like I mean, bro, listen. It's, There's it's, only it's three adapting. centers in the draft, though. There's only three centers that that fucking tall in the draft over seven foot. There's only three, and the other yeah. one. They said the other one, I can't remember what his name is, but the other one shoots threes and all that, and he like seven, seven, one or seven, two or some shit like that. And uh, and there's one more. So there's only three three big dudes in this draft. Yo, you know I who else I, I was saying was crazy. good too? Christian Coloco. He went to the Raptors, but um, I was like, Clint, I think the 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 Klingon, uh the the Donovan Klingon kid, um, I think he had a uh Yukon. He about I think he about seven seven feet seven one or something like that. I, I think we're all crazy because we're talking about the draft and we don't got no Alexander Sars seven seven one. We don't got, no, got not one pick. We yeah, yeah but he ain't gonna he the first round pick high, so yeah, unless he, he get the number one round. pick. You would have to trade yeah. Clyde to the side of trade, Jay. It would have to side trade and and get a draft pick like that, a, a, a Zach Eady or somebody like that. But I don't think Everybody that we'd be knows. able to keep Clax. We'll give him the bag and get Zach Eady. Like, well, why would a team if let us get Zach Eady? Like, what, what? I mean, my, 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 here's, my, here's my thing, bro. Like, I'm like, here's my thing, bro. Like, is Joker Garden niggas on the perimeter? This nigga just won the t- He just won two MVPs and a finals MVP, bro. Like, come on, bro. Like, we, we being realistic, bro. Like, come on. Is Joker Garden no, niggas on the perimeter? I, the really? thing is, Lee, is that Joker, Joker, man. Yeah, but the thing is, Joker got the personnel around him to to cover up for him on defense. Man, you ever yeah. seen Minister Bitt- Society, Lee? You see yes. that, uh Where Jada was like, yeah, uh, but uh, we were, uh, Odo was like, yeah, but Kane be drinking up all the beer in the refrigerator. Like, well, you ain't Kane, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't Joker, nigga. The fuck? Yeah, it's only he one Joker. Joker. It's only one Joker, bro. I mean, listen, about but listen, I can name a lot of centers that ain't getting out there. Sabonis, my uh, uh, my fucking uh, Joel. He always stay hurt. A uh, uh, Brook Lopez, bro. Who we just who Clowney just uh, made a fool out of the other night until we put exactly. start back they be in the looking game. Bad out there, getting come cut. on. I mean, yeah, yeah, but but at the same time, bro, I'm like, yo. Everybody going to have a liability out on the court, bro. You either going to have a, a, a skinny nigga that can run and, and get and can't rebound over nobody, bro, like clack. No, but you're right. You're right. But you're that's right, the point of building a team around a nigga like Joey was just saying. Like with Joker, they built a team around him so to maximize his skill set and what he can do. And you, see the, what, you see that comment, Jay? You know what I feel? You know what I feel, bro? I feel as if we get him, bro, I think the t- I oh, think the team is. Uh, I think the team is already in place to where uh, I, if if you get him, 
Now you can start filling the rest of the positions out like you want to, bro. If class is not here, then that almost guarantees that what you, uh, uh, that uh, 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 Clowney is at the four. That well, almost guarantees because he can shoot. But it sounds like from what you saying. If you if you trade Claxton, then you're gonna miss out on some of that perimeter defense. So you might want to tra- like it's not like you saying exactly. he's gonna take more of what Dayron do than what Claxton do anyway. True. I, what it, no no no. What I'm saying is I think a Clowney is gonna take more of what a, a Claxton Claxton is a, Claxton is doing, but amplify more on the offensive end. Mm. He's gonna amplify more on the offensive end because he can that. he can space the floor and he can shoot. And he and defensively, he's not that at, at the age of 19. We saw it the other night. He's not that far off from what Claxton is defensively as far as moving his feet and, and, and getting out and getting out the shooters. He played Dame as well as you can play him, bro. That's just better shooting. He played Giannis as, as great as you could, as great as a 19-year-old nigga could, could ask for. I was about to say, yeah, because it, it, it was still they was hitting him with some veteran shit, and he was fucking up. But I, I'm not mad at him. He, he I'm played, not mad at him at he all. Played he great. played great. If he if he keeps improving, it's going to make Claxton more disposable right. on his team. Yeah, it's going to make bro, bro. Claxton is already but disposable. Look, look, Claxton trying to get new money. This is what I would be saying. Y'all sound just like they were saying with uh. That Claxton was doing what he was doing, and Jared Allen was on the team. They was like, yeah, if he keep improving, we don't need Jared Allen. I mean, nah, yeah, that's I knew we needed Jared Allen. I'm not no, going. I'm not him. saying you, but that's what other Nets fans were saying. Yeah, I don't know, but hold on, hold on. We two hours in, y'all. Please tap that like button, sub up if you know what I mean. First time here, jump in the comments, talk to us, man. Leaf ready for any questions. J, Joey, BK, Ice Man. <laughs> LM, we already man. Some, some people, some people. Uh, I put it on the Twitter. Some people hit up the Twitter, bro. I did see. Um, well, well who was that in the Twitter, bro? Um, in the yeah, Twitter, yeah. Right? earlier in the chat, right? Somebody, yeah, was yeah. somebody was in the Twitter chat. I think that was Dave the Rosa, bro. Um, in the in the, yeah. tw- in the Twitter chat, somebody came in the Twitter chat. So I, I kind of post the Twitters um all the time. I gotta um, I gotta advance the stream yard on my on my end, bro. So I'm gonna start getting um the games back on there, but. That's on, that's gonna be next season because this season is in the shitter. So um, who, who we got next? We got Detroit next, right? Who the hell cares, bro? I'm like, what, what are we doing? Know. Let's see. Uh, I'm, I'm like, yo, we can't just be giving away wins. Like, huh? That's have what you we have doing, to? bro. You have, but that's that's what we've been doing. We on bro. a six game losing streak, bro. Like, I just feel like they look at us on the calendar and they not scared, man. We got Toronto next, bro. Yo, bro, I seen so And I think we 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 on the road trip. Too. We in tomorrow. His face on our yeah. court, bro. I want them to I look think at we get our good back. Like, damn, we got to play the Nets. Oh, they tough. Yeah. We play the Raptors next. Bro, ain't nobody looking at the Nets, bro, and talking about, yo, damn, we got to play. And the Nets. Raptors know how to play Dennis Schroeder. So. Exactly. So that so he already cooked. He already <laughs> cooked. That nigga's already cooked, bro. Like so He's not going to be no factor in that game. That that we know because they know how to guard him. They know oh, no. is we need some camaraderie and some chemistry on this team. I don't care who's on the team. We just need some people to play together for a while and, <laughs> and learn what each other are good at and build a good team, bro. Because as soon as we got chemistry with KD and Kyrie, they traded it. As soon as it came. Yeah, that's it. Soon as it came, <laughs> yeah, and, and I don't like I don't like how they um. But what I will say is, I don't like how they didn't communicate after losing game one in the playoffs. Remember that last play of the game, he Marcus Smart threw the pass to Jason Tatum, and he spun and scored. And after that, it just looked like it took the fight out of KD and Kyrie. You know what I mean? I didn't like that shit. And what I'm saying is, regardless of how talent they <clears throat> how talented they are as players, and sometimes you need your teammate to hold your chin up. Y'all seen that when the, the player holds his chin up in, yeah. the, in the college game? You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, yo, I got you, bro. It's all right. You want to get through this. You know what I'm saying? Like, you need that from your teammate sometimes. So right, sometimes right. that's more important than the talent on the team because mm-hmm. that's where you get the camaraderie and the chemistry, man. Well, that's, well, that's what be pissing me <laughs> off about your man sometimes. And my man, 
Cam Thomas because <laughs> this nigga be getting mad sad on the court and giving up the play. Like tonight, hey. when he threw the ball. Nah, we, look, he, we got he hit that three. No, that was fire, but he yeah, doubled. That was crazy. When he hit that three, he was exhausted. He was just like, right. You know, he was mad tight, like, bro. He was tight that he hit the three, bro. Like, that's how you could, how you was, how you tight that you, that you scored. No, now, but the thing is, that's, that's a, they threw him a grenade. He if, don't like the grenades. He's he even talking about the time was wrong. If, yo, if y'all don't watch him, every time he get a bucket, he look mad after the bucket. Like, yo, I should be doing this all the time. <laughs> don't right. give me love right. now. I always do this. Don't, this is don't right give here. me love now. You know what I mean? Yeah, he like. be sitting there. Word. But what I'm saying is, when he uh, he got double teamed, he tried to throw the ball to uh, uh, Cam Johnson. Cam Johnson fucked it up, too. He, and he threw a bad pass. But instead of trying to go after the ball, he's standing there pouting. It was another play where he shot the ball. Ball bounced off the back of the rim. Right. It, he he could have ran it. towards the ball, but he right. didn't run towards the ball. If you shot the ball, you know where the ball is going more, most likely. But right. he let the Knicks run towards the ball instead of him. Like, come on, bro. You know what I'm mad at, bro? He, was, he looked like he was. You know, what I'm, you know what I'm most mad at, bro? We didn't keep and we didn't keep Ed Sumner at all, neither, bro. Because that nigga played very well with him and Cam Thomas. Yeah, I said that. We had, we, had the players, we had players on this team that played better with Cam Thomas on the court, bro. Yo, I said it was that all beginning of the season. Y'all just kept out. Hey, yo, yeah. I'm about to say something crazy. But y'all just kept telling me about DSJ. But I was about to say something wow. And some of oh, the overseas man. playing right now. Yeah, some of the overseas. Yeah, no, nah, I like I, I thought as some that he couldn't stay consistent because of his health, but being out there just basketball, yeah, he was hooping, bro. Effort wise, you know bro, who, like that's what he gave that, bro. Like you know who listen. else was on this team that, that was that was looking crazy, and I was like, yo, who the fuck was that? Ronde Hollis Jefferson. That nigga oh, no, went overseas no, and started I'm, looking like. I'm not doing that. That nigga was a piece of shit on this team, bro. Like, I, no, I'm not doing that. Damn. I'm not doing that. All I know is Ed Sumner and Cam was looking great together. Exactly. They broke yeah, that. They I'm, broke I'm saying that. on that, bro. That nigga, Rondé Hollis Jefferson was not doing nowhere near what he is doing overseas on the next, bro. Like when he was here, bro. No, hell no. I'm but not. I'm not. Nah, he was he. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say that he was. I'm not born, he was born that, in that. But he was part of that 42-40. He was part of that eleven. Uh, eleven. And he gave us. Defense. He gave us defense was, at that time. I don't know if he gave, gave us that that season, bro. I don't even know if he gave us that, bro. Who else? He was part of that. He was part right of that comeback at Sacramento. Who else? Who else? Who else who else Ooh, robbed us? Alan Crab, remember no, that one? No. Alan Crab robbed us there, but you can't put that on Rondé, bro. He played good defense while he was here, bro. I don't remember that, bro. Alan nah, Crab, my... he he did some bullshit. He was terrible. I remember, dude. He was terrible. Nigga, Alan Crab, he, he, he was a bad basketball player for the. Who was that other? Who was that other nigga, bro? That that we stole from Miami, bro. And for um. We signed that. And that nigga said he seen fifty mil. He seen four years, fifty million dollars. That nigga walked out the office and cried, bro. Like he was like, "Yo, mama, we made it." I forgot the name of the nigga's name. Yeah, Tyler Johnson. That's who it was. Yeah, he was on the Yeah, that nigga, bro. Oh, that that. Made it. Yeah, it's like one thing that team was entertaining to watch. Then what the fuck? I don't even know if that team was entertaining to watch. I don't remember them niggas like that, bro. Like I kind of, I drew a blank. I ain't gonna lie. They the reason why they them niggas wanted to come here. They they made that playoff. They played that playoff run. The niggas was looking at them like, yo, I ain't gonna lie. Let's try to let's try to and make some shit. I know it was a long time ago, bro. But listen, only niggas I remember on that team was Dinwiddie, Jared Allen, J uh, Joe Harris, uh, uh, uh snitch ass D Lo, and um, uh, Karis Levert. Uh -huh. That's that's the only niggas I remember on that I team. Think had, I, I think we had Karoots. Remember Karoots? Karoots? Uh, oh, now, he, he wasn't uh, getting Theo, on. Theo was there. Uh, Theo Pinson was on that team. Uber, 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 Uber. I, yo, I delivered some Uber food to that nigga, bro. I didn't even know who the hell he was. <laughs> <but>. <laughs> I delivered some Uber food to that I, nigga, bro. Like, let me get an Uber story. I need to hear this. Let me nah, hear nah, I, I delivered some Uber food to that nigga. He, he lived on Bond. He lived on Bond Street in the back with them uh, beautiful houses is downtown Brooklyn. That's how I knew. That's how I knew. Uh, how I knew it was him because that nigga was about a good six. I, that nigga was like wide, wide tall, bro. He came out the apartment door, bro. Like I looked at this nigga, I'm like. <laughs> 
I'm like, yo, you play, yo, you play for the team he had on Nets game and everything. I'm like, yo, welcome to Brooklyn. Yeah. I was like, that was the first and last time I seen him, too. Word. First and last time I seen him, bro. I was like, all right, welcome to Brooklyn, bro. Shit. Next time mm-hmm. come outside. NBA Come outside, was, was, tip, nigga. Them NBA Damn. players in person, them niggas look like Nephilims. Like, I, niggas I, I giants. Niggas, <laughs> that shit is ridiculous. I remember I saw KD in person for the first time when I went to the next game. I was like, yo, what the? Niggas are skyscrapers, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie to you. Them some tall <laughs> niggas. <laughs> Those some niggas, tall, even man. Kyrie for sure as he is, he still man. got like some height. Them some tall niggas, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I seen NBA. That, listen. The only NBA nigga that I ever been around, that I ever seen in person, bro, that I felt like was a regular nigga was Allen Iverson, bro. That was it. I seen that nigga back. I seen that nigga do what he do. I seen he did in this league. What he did in this league at six foot nothing, 160 pounds, bro, is nothing short of amazing. Do y'all see TikTok trying to slam the AI? Ooh. Yeah, I saw it's, that nonsense. It's TikTok thing. videos running around saying AI is trash. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I saw yeah, that nonsense. Yeah, that's black. That they, they don't know what they... they this AI, is some I feel like AI, it's young. AI, Allen Iverson? Yeah, they talking... Yes, they listen, bro. So, I'm telling you, bro. If them niggas so my AI is like, overrated. I ain't gonna lie. If an electric outage uh, come, come about for the next two months, bro, all of them niggas is dirt on the street, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. It's over with. You can't go outside. You can't take out your garbage. You was talking trash about AI, bro. Them niggas is gonna get you. That's all it is to it. You mind, you mind your man. nigga. AIs, bro. It's plenty of AIs all over the league today, bro. Everybody isolating at, isolating at the top of the key. Everybody. Who, who, it's who not person? even just his skill set, but he changed the influence, bro. Like the headbands, the arm sleeves. I wouldn't even say that. Hairstyles. No, but when I'm oh, saying, you know, like, I'm just looking at basketball. He Every ch- nigga play like AI. Bro. But he wanted to challenge Jordan. That's what he was. That's what he was letting. Challenge go. Jordan. Challenge Kobe. Challenge Shaq. Yo, he talking yo, about jumping out in this league, bro. Yo, y'all yo. seen the thing? Where uh, AI said he was talking to Jordan like recently, he was like, "Yeah, man, you know I love you, Mike." He was like, "Nah, if you, if you don't fucking love me, you wouldn't never cross me like cross that. me like that, yo." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "You only love me, man, because you it would you cross me, you caught me with that." Mind you, you, we be looking at TV screens, so it's hard to be telling some niggas go to the game, but that nigga is six feet, that nigga Jordan like six six. Do you imagine how tall that nigga looked in front of uh AI? Like that's what is crazy for him to. Nigga to, said the first. Nigga said did. the first time. I, nigga Yo. said the first time I stepped on the court and I seen Michael Jordan, bro. Nigga, his you could see his aura. Like nigga, you can see this. It's like yo, this nigga's wearing the Jordans, bro. Listen, like, yo, the listen. yo, it's funny y'all say that, and it's funny that Philly didn't want Macau Bridges. Shout to Macau Bridges, and it's funny that when you look at AI now, I'm not saying he was an Iron Man like Macau Bridges, but he played. That nigga went out minutes. there. He played big minutes and he played a lot of games, bro. Yep. I mean, he played most of his games. I'm talking yes. seventy plus. Six yes. plus on a regular basis. Yeah, so the nigga, the nigga was that nigga was a warrior, bro. Like, listen, it, it, it didn't matter he, what part of he, it didn't he, matter what part of his body was fucked up. He was hitting. And that he's court. skipping through the lane. Yeah, like, did you talk that's about playing that? Because as, he ain't um, go to practice, bro. <laughs> he ain't go to practice, <laughs> bro. bro. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but Breezy, you gotta remember too. A- a- you gotta bro, remember not, too. AR for his AR for his height. AR was athletic too. I think yeah. he can jump. He very athletic Listen, for his height, and bro. again, like, hold on, hold on. Players like AI, I love because he played with inside of that three point line. He had a midi too. His mid range game. His mid range. But, but, but he, yeah, but That's mostly true. he went to the basket though. Like, yeah, hold on, hold on. And listen, what what I realized too. Another thing that I don't like about players that I did like about Allen Iverson is that they played the game. They wasn't restricted to the three point line. Like I'm only shooting the ball from where I'm at because I want to be a three point threat. Allen Iverson was just a threat. Like, he could score the ball from anyway. Like, yeah, he really couldn't hit the long ball for real. But that space within the three-point line to the, and all that space. Yo. Bro, you, you know what I'm talking about? Hold on. Let me be specific. You know how a basketball court, it got the uh, 
the foul line, where the foul line at, it got the key right there, all of that space and the space mm-hmm. around it, around it before the three point line, where the three point line, but inside of the three point line. Allen Iverson was scoring in all of that. So, yeah, that's maybe he ain't had a three point line, like the three pointer like that, but that's a lot of space to score the ball. I mean, he, he was definitely a streaky shooter, bro, like away from the basket, bro, for, for sure, bro. He, yeah. he scored on a lot of volume, but the thing is, at six, bro, I don't even think that nigga was Look, just to come full that. circle with the conversation, that's why I really feel like we should have never got rid of Kyrie, man, because Kyrie is that nigga, but more skilled to me. Like, he not as fast as him, but he can switch up paces and the I fact that Kyrie you, don't, like, he don't, he let the defense dictate what he going to do, and then mm-hmm. he could finish with the left, finish with the right, like, bro. And he makes good passes. One thing I loved about AR2 was that when he crossed you, bro, nigga, you didn't know where the fuck you was at the next play. When, you, when he crossed you, nigga, you was out of the play. You was out <laughs> of the play, nigga. That, that's it, bro. When he got by you. You still at the three-point line, and he at the, he going for a layup. And he going for a layup on your big man, bro. Your big man got to get out of the paint. Look up Kyrie highlights cooking Steph Curry. Yo. Even, 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 Shaq said, even Shaq said it, bro. Like he was like, yo, the first time I played this nigga, bro, I said, yo, I swear to God, I knocked the shit out of him, bro. This nigga got right back up. I was like, yo, bro, yo, wait, yo, yo, you know how I told you? Yo, Kobe said it. He said, yo, thank God AI was in 6'5. <laughs> yeah, like, that's, that's yo, now would have been cold. Dude, listen, oh. I'm a, I, I never really I had a take on this, but I'm gonna be honest, man. Those those are nasty takes by those guys saying bad things about the basketball in the '90s because, in my opinion, it's a game of always evolving, and I got some of that from Kevin Durant, pause or whatnot, in the interview he had on in the summertime when he was on the team. And he was, uh, um, but it was an interview with like um, a famous uh, interview guy. Like he had a talk show or whatever. And he said, yo, he said, I, I, if I miss a week of basketball, I, I, I could lose a step in this game because that's how fast paced this game is. Like this game, people mm-hmm. play this game every day. Some day. Somewhere right now, there's somebody working on their game, working on their mm-hmm. game right now, playing basketball. And I'm saying well, looking in third grade, that's about to be a generation. What talent. I'm saying is that's AI was part AI was part of that space and evolution. Everybody talk about the evolution, but those guards that had handles, they the ones who started yes. the space revolution. Yes, like, and, and yeah. They crossing the shit out them zones. AI is the I don't think people realize who Iverson was, other than Grant Hill, bro. Like they, they were the only two niggas in the nineties. They were shitting they, on him too, bro. They was the only two. They, they, was they the do only, it to everybody, bro. The they, two niggas, they was the only two niggas in the nineties that made you move from right to left. Them yeah. niggas murdered. They they killed the 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 hand check rule. They killed zone defenses. You couldn't do that no more, bro, because niggas couldn't stand in front of them. Yeah, no, they can't stand in front of Grant Hill. And they said, they stand in front of Grant Hill. They no, said no. Grant Hill first step was so crazy that when you think <laughs> you about to cut him off, like he already dunking. That's like that shit was wild. He got he got by he got by this small forward, bro, which was Scotty bum ass. Got by him, bro, dunking on dunking on your big man, no problem. But yo, you got AI forcing up your guard. Now your center got to deal with him because niggas had to fight man to man defense back then. Here comes zone defenses, bro. They only they took illegal defense out to stop Shaq, and he was still putting up thirty. This shit was crazy, bro. So so now you could bring the help man to go guard a guard up Shaq and go double Shaq as opposed from Shaq uh uh, uh being on some, some 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 poor white dude or whatever, bro, posting his little ass up and then dunking on him. Bro, like, come on, bro. Like, they they changed the rules, bro. Do you know back then, bro, there was no such thing as Joker getting the rebound and bringing that shit up the court, bro? He couldn't do that. There was no such thing as, as hezzies and side steps and, 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 and step backs and a nigga pulling up from 40 feet on some step shit because niggas guarded you full court. You had to be an elite nigga to get to, to, get to where you needed to go in the 90s. 
Grand Hill and AI proved it. They they speed was second to none. Hold on, hold on. I never I never said this because out of honor, but Jeff Vaughn not the head coach no more. I seen a play like uh, it was a while ago, and AI crossed the shit out of Jock Vaughn. Oh Jock, yeah, yeah, I seen that. Yo, Jock Vaughn. Oh, yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, I seen him. What? Bro, yeah, it was crazy. He's not on the yeah. team no more, so I don't even care, bro. Like no, AI no, made a fool, bro. I, no, he, was, no, he was tumbling like a like a back, like bro. Pull that up. <laughs> like I said, pull that up. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. Listen, it's a lot of niggas in the league, bro. They got oh, that that the night he got the night he got fired. It was, it was it was a lot of niggas, bro, that played in the league during with AI, bro. Like they was like, yo, I rather guard Kobe than to ever guard AI. Bro. I rather guard Kobe or 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 LeBron before I guard AI. Yeah, uh, Gilbert said that. Gilbert, Gilbert said, said that. Right. Yeah, he, he'd rather guard anybody. Bro, AI was, was getting put back dunks on bigs. Yeah, because he's like, you got to match AI energy. You can't match his energy. You get roasted the whole game. Exactly. We talking about, a nigga, that, phenomenal. We talking about a nigga that played four. Bro, he led the league in minutes. I, bro, can't, I think he found the love. Nick, don't nobody play 40 minutes a game no more. Don't nobody do that. Well, so, uh, so what are we saying? The, the bum ass. Bum ass tangerines been playing niggas 40 minutes a game. Yeah, and that's why they're going to die as soon as they hit the playoffs, too. We go and we're gonna sit here and watch them die. Yo, hold on, hold on. They made Dante DiVincenzo got 28, man. I feel hold like on. that was a downfall right hold there. Hold on, just because just because um Jack Vaughn was on the Nets, I'm only gonna just show him getting him. crossed. Yeah, I'm only oh, gonna show this one time. I'm gonna show this one nah, time. Nah, you gotta show this one time. Nah, you gotta show it multiple times. Nah, you gotta show it a slow motion instant replay. I need <laughs> all of that shit. All right, hold on, hold on. He he requested it. Um, hold on, hold on. 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 Hold on, hold they probably gonna show a replay after it anyway. Yeah, yeah right. They probably is. Look at this. Look at this, Nick. Bro, come on, bro. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. God, come on, bro. Yo. Come on, bro. Nah, that was bad. <laughs> I never. That was bad. Nah, What's he up? put him on his back oh, pocket oh, oh, oh. and he slid. Yeah, damn, that's oh my god! Yeah, I, I like you do, like, like bro, like, like you re you realize to dribble I, I back then, bro. Really what is the one of the things that they taught you when you dribble when you first start dribbling <laughs> ball, bro? Like to get by niggas, you had to be lower to the ground. You had to be lower to the ground, and your strides had to be like on point, bro. So the thing is, bro, AI, bro, come from football coaching. He used to play football. AI used right. to play football, so a lot of the niggas don't like a lot of niggas can't guard football niggas that got speed, bro. You can't guard them. Yeah, time out, time out, yeah. I feel bad about what I did because Jack Ross and no, nice. no <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> play that again. <laughs> Yo, man. Yeah, God, we're going too far now. Not you ain't even play that clear enough. Fuck Reezy, that. you saying that when he sabotaged when he was sabotaging Cam Thomas this whole season? You gonna show him mercy? Nah, we still got to get an interview with Jack Vaughn in this podcast, man. Yo, yo, why was Jack Vaughn playing Allen Iverson that close, though? I'm putting Allen Iverson on 1080p. How? The hell with all of that. Bro, but this was, mind you, this was the era when hand, when hand checking was was uh available. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think he was stupid for guarding him that close. There wasn't no way you could play. play. Hey, uh, it doesn't matter if you back off or you play. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah. Was no nah, he was guarding him by the half court line. Stop. Yeah, but it don't matter with AI. Yeah, first step was crazy. Yeah, right. right. It don't matter what you did with AI. You wasn't AI proved to every nigga that ever checked him, bro. You are not faster than me. Yeah, right. Simple. Yeah, Jack Vaughn. Jack Vaughn, I, mean, it was dangerous. Was not, I only did that, Jack Vaughn, because you was a bad coach for the Nets, man. That Matter of fact, I'm pulling up that whole 05-06 season, bro. Hold up, because I know it was in there. Let's 
Uh, nah, that, 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 two, that, that, that 2001 season. That's I, just, I, I, don't, I don't really wow. care about that. I don't really care about that, bro. Like, I want that 05, 06, because he was styling on niggas during that year. I think he averaged 30 that year. Yeah, he was at, bro, this, bro, come on, bro. This is, what are we doing, bro? Like, come on, bro. This, nigga, AI was just something, bro, unthinkable, bro. Like, that nigga was an anomaly. I'm going to close out soon, but I just want to say that I'm going to hold on to a, a, a romanticized idea, pause, it, if you will, to see if the sign and trade with Claxton gives Zach Eady happens and Zach Eady and Cam Thomas is running the office next season. That's all I got. For this season, I think it's a wash. I think it's over. I'm going to recap it. I'm going to still do my Iron Fan, Iron Man, Iron Fan, and, and recap. I'm just trying to reach my 65 game incentive, man. That's you know all what I'm it saying? is. Like, I'm going to still do it, but I, I don't th- I don't know, man. We lost to the Knicks, man. That shit, you, you know, got me looking in the mirror like I'm a good person. This shit ain't supposed to happen to good people. <laughs> we got to play him one more time, too. Yeah, no. April hopefully, 12. we could take them. We could switch their seed in. If they Wait, when we play them again? If they try to get fourth, we get them in fifth. Oh, because my they gosh. Them. You know what I'm saying? So you feel me? I don't know, man. I'm about to gotta play them niggas again. I'm, I'm, I'm teasing Jock Vaughn. I'm playing the thing when he's getting crossed over. I, I, I gotta call it a night, man. Breeze been saying it all year. If they beat us one more time, they tie the record. If we beat them, we up by two. Yeah, me they didn't tie the record tonight. Nah, Give they tied something. the record with four straight wins this year. Cause mm. we, we was up on them by four. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. So if yeah. we get one win, we still above them. So we just gotta get one win. But it don't look like <laughs> it's gonna happen. Right. Damn, and damn sure don't look like it. Word. So I don't know, man. Um, and we didn't really get to the leadership portion of this. Uh, the Nets don't got no leadership right now. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's in shambles. We the leadership, it, man. Right, right. The Nets fans is leading and leading this thing. You know what I mean? Um, I want to give a shout out though to the, everybody's member on the channel. Shout out to Jellio Jack City, Big Dog Hunt, Two Guy Go SRK, AWNC, and Joey BK New York and, and New York Nets. Shout out to Joey BK man for pulling up, man. He 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 makes sure I, you know I stay consistent. He like, yo, you doing that pre-cap? I don't be getting a chance to do the pre-cap all the time, but I'm gonna try to get to it. But I appreciate you, you know what I'm saying, motivated um me to, to, to continue to uh do the show. Um, even though the Nets is, and it's tough because the Nets ain't playing good, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I want to also give a shout out to Eskimo for helping me share uh on Twitter heavy, he always reposting it. So you know, I wanted to say good looking, I appreciate that. Shout out to the All Eskimo. Right. Um, and this is JTV, man. That's my guy in real life for real. And hopefully, I'll meet you guys in real life, you know what I'm saying? But um, me and Jay, we go way back, you know what I mean? Like like we just go way back, man. That's my man, pots and pants, man. Know that. Um, and and that's family. And, and LM, shout out to LM, man. LM is a dope fan. Part of the reason why I was a uh, part of the BK block and was actually at the games. And, and, and trust me, you gotta be involved. You gotta P R. Nah, and then we ain't do that shit. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. But one day we are gonna do that shit. We are gonna be in the BK block chanting. B R O O K L Y N. We got to get that on the. We got to get that on there, man. Right. And all season, I got to be a push. Word. Until that day, you feel what I'm saying? We we going we going to push for it. Um, shout shout to LM, man. Um, that, these guys on this panel and Leaf, and part of the reason why and all y'all that pull up, man, is part of the reason why I say Nets fans is the best fans. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I appreciate y'all, man. You know what I mean? I'm gonna clap it up for y'all real quick. You know what I'm saying? Y'all deserve it, man. You know what I mean? Just wanna get y'all y'all flowers. You know what I'm saying? We had six oh five subscribers going up. You know what I mean? That now I mean that oh, means you got like, over six hundred? Yeah, we, we over six hundred, man. Uh, uh, right. you know what I'm saying? This show seven hundred, man. Seven hundred is or like old solo said, you know what I'm saying? One fan bring one fan, and one fan bring two fans, and then two fans bring two of my mans, and that's four fans. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All that. <laughs> you gotta see the old solo <laughs> for you to get it. You gotta see the old solo verse for you to get it. 
Um, but nah, y'all know it's love, man. And again, this gonna be my motto for the players in the Brooklyn Nets, man. If the y'all motto want is a thousand fans before the new season start, man. Let's go. Word. Word. And and if if y'all want the Nets fans to show love, all of the players gotta play with heart. How y'all how we gonna show love if they don't play with no heart? If y'all if the players play with heart, we gonna show love. I, and I guarantee it. In my Denzel voice, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying. But shout the shout to all y'all, man. Y'all know what's up. Uh, I'm gonna be back for the precast for the Raptors, and I appreciate y'all, man. Have a good night. Peace. R O O K L Y N B R O O K L Y N B R O O K L Y N B R O O K A promise, watch me like a cam, cuz it's my time. Make sure watch me like a cam, cuz it's my time. Switch, they can't guard me, especially side the Barclays. It's been twin crosses, so I can score with both hands. Many flawless, and I get to paint like an artist. I'm a bar smith, so you should respect my handle. I see the big picture with the nets like a mantle. In the future, I see us as champ too. And when we do, I'ma do a Brooklyn dance move. The stir that whole Millie rock like a fan do. That's a bet like my parlay on FanDuel. B-R-O-O.